$1,238. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat brought to you by our newest sponsor, eFoods Direct. Redefining the way you think about storable food. Easy to make and great tasting with a shelf life of over 25 years. To celebrate our new partnership, eFoods Direct is offering Liberty Beat listeners 10% off their purchases. To take advantage of this exciting offer, call 800-620-5520 and mention coupon code Liberty Beat. To learn more or to buy online, visit eFoodsDirect.com. In the news, on Wednesday, thousands of protesters around the world took part in the Million Mask March, with demonstrators in Washington, D.C. and London challenging the police head-on. London police arrested 10 people after protesters clashed with police officers and allegedly committed assault. At one point, the protesters grabbed metal barriers, which separated police from the activists. In Washington, D.C., protesters also wrestled with police over metal barriers. The mass protesters in the nation's capital verbally challenged the police and called for an end to government corruption. The BBC reports Egypt's policies toward protesting citizens are under review by the Human Rights Council of the U.S.-funded United Nations. Since 2011, revolution has rocked Egypt and caused major upheaval following the ouster of longtime President Hosni Mubarak. After democratically elected Mohamed Morzai was removed by a military coup last year, military ruler President Assisi has been heavily criticized by U.S. and European nations for perpetrating violence against innocent protesters exercising political speech. However, the United States continues to work with Assisi. As during the reign of Mubarak, the United States sends Egypt roughly $3 billion in foreign aid each year. Over 2,000 people have died in the conflict in Egypt. On Tuesday, Hawaiian voters decided to ban the growing of genetically modified crops. The new measure creates a temporary moratorium on GM crops until further health and environmental studies are completed. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support also comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries. Homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 6th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. On Wednesday, President Barack Obama said he would work with Congress on new war powers to fight Islamic State militants and express cautious optimism about whether the international face-off over Iran's nuclear program will be resolved. Two issues that could prove harder for the White House to maneuver with Republicans in charge on Capitol Hill. The Associated Press reports that Obama spoke at a news conference the day after his party was thrashed by Republicans in elections, leaving the Republicans soon to be in charge of both the House and the Senate. Obama's decision will test the ability of the divided Congress to agree on a war strategy for Iraq and Syria. A St. Louis circuit judge has ruled Missouri's ban on same-sex marriages as unconstitutional. Judge Rex Burleson called the freedom to marry a fundamental right deeply rooted in the history of the United States. The news comes a day after a federal judge ruled a similar ban in Kansas was in violation of the Constitution. On Monday, a district judge threw out an alleged 1993 confession from Daniel Villegas, the Texas man who spent 19 years behind bars for a murder he did not commit. The district judge stated that the confession could not be used as evidence in an upcoming retrial because it was coerced by police. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 6, 2014. I'm Brian Hagen reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. We've got Today Now's medical expert, Dr. Kareem Mazari, here to give us some tips on how to convince a stubborn little guy to take off his Spider-Man costume and start wearing normal clothes so people don't think he's a weirdo. And also joining us is my son, Spencer, still dressed as Spider-Man. Spencer? Hi, Mom. 
I find the best thing to do is to try and have a dialogue with your child. Now, Spencer, why won't you take your costume off? Because then people will know my true identity. You're not even wearing the mask! People already know who you are! Well, bargaining can work. Explain bargaining? to your child... Bargaining? Is it not enough that I say take off the Spider-Man costume? Now I've got to bargain with my own child? Jesus Christ! You know, Ooh, Spencer, sit down. Ooh, sit ah! down! Do you want to be put in the silence trunk again? You don't like the silence trunk, do you? Um, okay. I'm Spider-Man! I'm Spider-Man! Spencer! Spencer, sit down right now! Sit down, you little face, or I will break the rest of your toys on purpose! Do you understand me? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You are tuned into the live Saturday edition of the program. And, of course, as always, you can bring up anything that you'd like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, you have Ian. And Mark. Mark back in the studio after taking a couple days off this week to go down to... Off? D.C., well, I guess off from the show, you were uh, still working. A business trip. Yeah, it was a business trip. You're going to some sort of conference with some highfalutin libertarian types or something like that? The Cato Institute. It was a monetary conference, yes. So hopefully some people with some money, uh, I guess, was uh, (laughs) was the idea there. Um, But, you know, besides you looking for uh, possible new advertisers for Free Talk Live and making connections uh, with, you know, those kind of folks, you I got to write on a choo-choo. Yeah. No. First time? First time really going anywhere. I mean, Mm -hmm. I've ridden on trains where they kind of go someplace and they come back. That kind of train ride, not really. This was obviously Amtrak, because are there any other consumer rails that you could possibly take? I think Amtrak's it, but I... And and then there's, you know, sort of regional stuff, but um, most of it's government-owned. Yeah, so I remember years ago we talked about an Amtrak story where they they took like two years to decide on the color of the window treatments in the cab cars. Did, what, did you notice anything that was kind of governmental bureaucratic about your journey uh, besides the TSA or whoever, whichever security you encountered? The power like? on the engine kept going out like a third world country. Really? Uh, so in the car, you know, you'd... You just get connected to the internet, get get going and everything, and then the power goes out again. The, the whole power to the car? Yeah, there'd be out. these emergency lights that would come on. Wow. That, it happened that, multiple times. And I wonder how typical that is. I uh, don't know, and I don't Amtrak know why. Ride. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I can't say. Um, you know, you would... So wait, it, they offer that, free Wi-Fi, but it is nigh impossible to use at times. So just to be clear, when you say the power went out, you don't mean the the train stopped moving. No, the lights go off on the in the car. I see. So there was an electrical system issue. Obviously, there's an you know engine driving this train. Presumably, it's still being fueled with something during the power. There's a outage. diesel um, on part of the trip, and part of the trip's electric. Really. So, so uh, Amtrak, first time, uh, you said on your Facebook post it was better than Airplane. I, I really enjoyed it. It was nice and comfy, and uh, there, you know, you had a table sort of in front of you as opposed to that fold-out thing. And mm-hmm. you know, in, a, in an airplane, you are shoved in like sardines. This uh, is on true. the train, you're just much more comfortable. Now, uh, I guess you can get up and go to the bathroom anytime on a train? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, you can. And the bathroom's spacious. Now, we've seen stories over the years about uh, the TSA's Viper team setting up at train stations. What was the security apparatus like? Um, not much of one, no. no. No security apparatus. So when you went to the train station... Uh, well, the one in Brattleboro was hardly a station at all. Okay. They had volunteers working there. <laughs> really? They, they didn't pay these people. Um, Just big train fanatics? Train Wanna buffs. Go- <laughs> right. <laughs> so I get on this thing and I roll on down. And you'd think that they'd come up with a better system than sitting some, sending somebody around in a funny hat to ask you if you've got your ticket. Ticket, please. They still do Ticket. that, huh? Ticket, please. You know that. They still, they still do it that way? You'd like, think like there'd be the a movies? better system than this than bothering people on a pretty regular basis as to whether or not they have their ticket. That's what they're doing. They literally are <laughs> still doing that today? I'm, I'm still asking you to verify yes, that that's, that's what's experience. happening. So how many times were, was your ticket checked on well, this journey? There, there'd be different legs of the trip where they'd switch out crew and stuff, and then they each want to come by mm-hmm. and then verify that it's you again hmm. or something. Okay. So besides the continual ticket checking... Uh, there wasn't any sort of checking of the baggage. You didn't have to no. go through a, no. a screening where you put your hands up in the air. No, I carried uh, my knives with me the whole time, you know, my pocket knives nice. and that, that sort of thing. Yeah. Was not any- that I'm, like, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not Drax from Guardian of the Galaxy. I just have pocket knives. Now, okay, so this is federal property, though, right? I mean, this is Amtrak. Okay. So uh, does that mean you can't, like, carry a gun? 
Do you know? I did ask the uh, so the the somebody said something about one of the these I don't know what to call him the guy at the station um, that was a volunteer said that no you're not I, I asked him about his weapon the weapons policy because he did say something about that mm-hmm. and I said so you're not allowed to take weapons and he says uh, unofficially under the rules you're not allowed to take weapons but nobody's going to check your bag. So essentially, you know, and I could have had a Thompson your... submachine gun in mm. my bag and it would have been fine. But somebody could check your bag, right? Like I've heard stories about dogs being taken. Uh... There was a dog that came on the uh, the, the train at one point. Well, that's definitely worth mentioning then. Okay, so what did they do with this dog? It took he it around, down the... sniffed around and things like that? He just walked down the aisles. Do you think it was a bomb sniffing dog or a drug sniffing dog? How would I know? You should have asked. I... I... Did not want to ask this stormtrooper <laughs> that had this dog. So he didn't look too friendly then? No, he had the whole glasses and all the gear and all oh, that yeah. stuff, yeah. But he was by himself? Just him and the dog? Well, him and a dog, yeah. Okay. So uh, so then definitely a lot of a weaker kind of security apparatus <laughs> on at least this journey uh, of Amtrak that you experienced. Yeah. It's interesting. So I also met somebody. Yeah, well, to this is, I, I, to me, I found this the most interesting part of the trip. Um, on the way in, I... But, you know, I was doing my work and, and that sort of thing, just uh, using the Internet and stuff. Some guy ends up sitting down somewhere near New York and um, Newark. Mm. And, you know, I comment on his, the game he's playing on on his computer. It's uh, one of those sort of civilization games, you know. And I said, you're going to take over the world from Liechtenstein? And I don't know why this interested him, but he decided he wanted to have a conversation. So are you politically motivated or something like that, he asked mm-hmm. me. And I said, well, I do a talk show, so I guess uh, it comes with the territory to some extent. And he begins to pick my brain about, uh, you know, the type of show I do and, you know, some of the things we talk about. It doesn't take too long to figure out that this, you know, you know this younger guy with the kind of um, very stylish glasses and uh, that sort of thing is a liberal, right? Like, okay. you know, it's pretty clear. And at some point he claims to be have worked for some sort of democratic organizations and we're talking about sort of the morality of issues. Turns out he's a nihilist, doesn't really have a moral uh, compass. and that's, We believe in nothing. We believe in nothing. Nothing. <laughs> um, anyway, so that was, he was very interesting to talk to, very smart guy. Okay. But one thing that I found very interesting is I begin to ask him questions after he asked me. And this is the day after the Republicans win. This is Wednesday. Hmm. I ask him, well, how do you feel? And he's like, oh, I don't care at all. He doesn't care at all. This is a scene. It turns out, by the way, um, after a little more conversation, this is a senior staffer for a senator, U.S. senator. Well, why should he care? He's going to get paid regardless, right? Well, he wants to win, and he's not doing this job because he wants to, a job. He could have a job doing anything. As a matter of fact, his job, he could get paid more not working in the government. He's motivated by liberal politics. Okay. That's his thing. But he doesn't care about winning or losing in the short term because he says— that we, meaning the Democrats, have the demographics and we have the issues. He believes that, um, and I think he's well, right. Don't I mean? Don't they By the way, all I'm, think that? Uh, I mean, obviously, that's gonna what that's what motivates. Really, you think that many politicians think in the long term? Because I kind of get the impression they go from election to election. Mm. I don't think they think that, and I don't think well, that there's the average Republican or Democrat thinks that um, that. I don't think they think in the long term, frankly. I think they think there's a right there's a right answer and a wrong ash- answer on each issue, and they believe that those are the right and wrong answers, and then they just sort of fight for them, whether it's a winning issue or a losing issue. But this guy gave me a different perspective, and I think that this is really important, is there's not only a, win- a right side and a wrong side to an issue, there's a winning side and a losing side to I- issues. Okay. And because he was po- pa- painting uh, Republicans as uh, having the losing side, and because I— work within the Republican apparatus here in New Hampshire. I'm not delighted by everything that is a Republican, but that's the side I've picked because I think I'd make a pretty unconvincing Democrat. Um, I, I kind of wonder, what are the issues that are winners and losers? Not what the right and wrong of it is, because we can argue, we, we do that every night of the week. We argue about the right and the wrong of an issue. Mm. But what are the winners and losers? And I came up with a few, and I'd really love people to call in with what, they, what issues are you know winners and losers. Uh, because I think that this is, uh, I think this is an interesting question. Uh, I'm interested to hear what you think are these winning or losing issues, because sure. I think it's just all going to depend on your perspective. I, I don't think that. Okay, um, right. Look, w- winning is looking at the issue from divorcing yourself from what you think is right and wrong, mm-hmm. and looking at who's winning and who's losing. Gay marriage. The Republicans are on um, that say the gay marriage shouldn't marriage shouldn't be legal um, between two men or two women. 
Democrats are on the other side. What's who's the winner? Who's the loser? Historically, twenty years from now. Well, I mean, it certainly seems like uh, gay marriage is taking foothold. Uh, uh, I think in you're the being. I think you're parsing words because you've lost this uh, argument, and you know <laughs> as well as I do, as does ninety percent of the Republicans out there that are listening to me, that it's a losing issue, and do the other ten percent are just insane. Well, do you think that ninety percent of Republicans really believe that opposing gay marriage is a losing issue? If 90% of it, if 90% of Republicans believed that were true, then why wouldn't they change their party structure? Because they don't, because both Democrats and Republicans aren't in it for what's winners and losers. They're in it for what's right and wrong. But I want to know know what's winning and losing. 855 450 free. If you want to answer the question, we'll come back with more here in moments. Free Talk Live. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This 
This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything here. We're on the live Saturday edition. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Mark, you've asked the question, what are some winning and losing issues, just for Republicans or also for Democrats? Yeah, I'm kind of interested in this. I spoke to a senior staffer from – I ended up on a train ride with him for like five hours, real Kenny, Kenny Rogers kind of thing. And um, we were talking, and – like this was the day after the Republicans win. I asked him how he felt about it. Like there was no betrayal on his face at all when he said, I don't care. He could care less that uh, the the Democrats lost big, I guess, um, a few days ago because he says that they've got the demographics and they've got the winning issues. And I'm just kind of interested because I know that the Republicans, being a Republican myself, I know that Republicans have quite a few losing issues. And I see when I go to, say, the, uh, the, the delegate convention where we vote on the state platform, I see some people saying some very dumb things, things that they've just got to fight over. Here in New Hampshire where gay marriage has been the law of the land for the last six years and somehow fire and brimstone hasn't rained down from Republicans heaven. Republicans voted for that, by the way, in New Hampshire. They did, but not the ones – but you know, they won't remove it from the state platform that marriage mm. is between one man and one woman. Gotcha. So you can't, although you can get some Republicans to vote for it, you can't get enough of the Republicans to get a majority so in, the, uh, de- your, in the delegate convention. Is your question, what are some losing issues that are cl- being clung on to by the Republicans or Democrats? Yeah, I, I guess that's what I want to know. Because, I mean, your party, whatever your party is, um, it, it stinks. It's awful. It's an old, archaic party that's being held together with uh, bubble gum and, and, and scotch tape. It, it barely manages to serve anybody. The only reason anybody votes for you is because the fact is the laws have been passed in this country that make it very difficult for a third party to come along. Mm-hmm. So the only thing you have a d- choice to do is try to get these giant, monolithic dinosaurs to evolve in some way or another. And I think the best way to do that if you want your party to you know, serve people better, is to just drop the crappy issues. What are the crappy issues? Toll-free not, number. Not the issues that you agree or disagree with, but the issues that are inexpedient, the ones that just won't go anywhere. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You brought up gay marriage as an issue that I've you got believe one. that the Republicans are... Uh, that that is a losing issue for them. That the idea being that if they changed their position and were more accepting toward gay marriage, right, then they would gain votes. Is that what you're suggesting? Yes. Uh, so again, the toll-free number eight fifty five four fifty free. Also, uh, speaking of free, you can get a free pound of coffee from Buzzbox and Free Talk Live by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. You're right. If you go there, you can get a free pound of coffee. It's the Best of the best coffee. It's shade grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica beans. This is a full pound shipped to you. You pay the shipping. We'll get you the pound. All you have to do is sign up for the subscription program. You can cancel it at any time. The difference, real difference here with BuzzBox Coffee is that they give us back some of the proceeds so that we can donate them through Kiva.org to give microloans to people around the world. We're able to give people who's who are trying to make their lives better that hand up, not a handout, that they need. And when they pay that loan back, and they pay that loan back, so far we haven't had a single default. <laughs> they, when they pay that loan back, we are able to loan it out to another person. So this is you giving so much more just by drinking coffee you normally drink. Upgrade the co- your coffee experience by going to coffee.freetalklive.com and help people in the process. So, I mean, just thinking about what you're saying here tonight, Mark, uh, the the idea of these winning and losing issues, I think that uh, I get where you're coming from, and I, I'm, I'm tempted to agree with it. You know, like gay marriage seems like this is inevitable. More states are coming on board with gay marriage, and, you know, it seems like anybody pushing against that is is pushing against the the tide of, of the inevitable. Right. Um, marijuana decriminalization or legalization, good example, right? Uh, D.C. just voted, a uh, popular vote, in favor of not just decrim. Decrim already passed in D.C., earlier this year, in favor of legalizing marijuana or cannabis in Washington, D.C., in the city limits. Thing is, all ballot initiatives and all city council measures have to go through the uh, the legislature. Yes, and that's true. So now there's some Republican pushback saying, we will stop this. And, yeah, okay. Which I think is interesting, considering apparently they didn't seem that it was, they didn't think it was important enough to stop decrim. 
Decrim passed the city council in D.C. and it sailed through the legislature. Nobody stood in the way of it. There, the you know the Republicans, the Democrats, uh, Barack Obama, any one of them could could have objected to this and they could have stopped this from happening or at least made it more difficult. But they didn't. But now all of a sudden legalization passes and now the Republicans care about it. Now it's a it's a big issue that they want to make a stand about. So that could be another example, right? Like marijuana is being legalized now instead of two states. It's now four states. Uh, right. so the, the most recent election. Of course, medical marijuana is This is a very is in- populist issue. And this is basically yeah. the question I'm asking you. Is populism is extraordinarily powerful when everybody's got a vote, right? So there, you know, the, the candidates that support the most populous positions, enough of the most populous, likely to win. And there are some... You know, there's some issues out there that are sort of anti-history. They're just not going to go anywhere. You don't hear anybody now. Uh, remember, consider 150, 175 years ago, politicians won on the platform of maintaining slavery, enslaving black people. Currently, nobody's running on that platform because it is a loser. Now, okay. we can sit here Good point. 175 years later and we can say, that platform issue stinks. Now, the question is, the, the, people that, the, the people that are most successful in life are the ones that are able to predict the future most often. You don't even have to be right half the time, but you can do it most often. I want to know from you, because everybody here thinks they're the smartest guy in the room. Everybody listening to me thinks they're the smartest person in the room. What is that issue that's a real stinker? Because I've got a few that I've written down. All right, I'm going to go to David in Bowling Green listening to WKCT. Hello, David. Hello, gentlemen. How you doing tonight? Hey, good. Go ahead with your thoughts. Hey, I listened to you quite a bit on the way home from work. And um, you're talking about this election and everything, which we have a uh, – the balance of power is going to change. Uh, first thing I want to say is this, that Kentucky won because I think that we were lacking good candidates between Grimes and McConnell. I, I don't know I these like, people's names. Um, you're going to have to help me with just Democrats and Republicans. The Democrat lost because the re- that was a bad candidate? Well, McConnell is a known name. Sure is. I've got a pig named Mitch Grimes, McConnell. <laughs> okay, but Grimes on the Democratic side, she wouldn't tell everybody what she was standing for or what she was standing against. Oh, yeah, I remember this, yeah. Which hurt. Then again, she went to tell everybody who she voted for or against, so that wind up hurting her. And so I think with a lot of people in Kentucky, those who went to the ballot box decided, okay, which is the lesser of the two evils. Mm-hmm. And, I think that's generally so, true. But what do you think about Mark's question about, you know, what is an issue that uh, is a big loser for the Republicans or Democrats? More than issues, I think, right now is the issue between the those that's been there for a while and the new blood. Hmm. Is how do you deal with the issues? I think that's what's going to hurt us more than anything. David, thanks for the call tonight. I don't really know what that means, but the, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I did, I, I did understand that he's frustrated by the choices. Uh, the oh, yeah, there's always going to be. But, but that's it. Suck. You've got two crappy old parties and their choices aren't going to get better they've never been good so i mean the fact is they're probably not going to really change their position on these issues until they're absolutely forced to and i think that the thing is they don't know their loser issues mark that's it i don't i I don't agree at all more coming up free talk live Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Hi, this is Larry Smith. Sometimes bad things happen to good people, like when the jeweler ruined my ring and wouldn't do anything about it. But when my Legal Shield attorney called him and told him what my rights were, I received a check for over $2,100. Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855 340 SAVE. Again, 855 340 7283. Results will vary from case to case. Why did you move to the Shire? 
I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We're doing a live Saturday edition. We'll take your calls. It can be about anything, but the general discussion tonight has been about what Mark has uh, identified as some loser issues for the Republicans. You've specifically picked ones for the Republicans, right? I am a Republican. I work within the Republican apparatus to some extent here in New Hampshire. Not that I'm Republicans are my favorite on every issue every time. Uh, in fact, I don't like either party very much, but uh, I... I I was able to see when this Democratic senior staffer, whom I was sitting by for about five hours on a train ride mm -hmm. to Washington, D.C., and we got into a great conversation, really liked the guy, and he said one day after the Democrats lost big during the uh, midterm election that he doesn't care. There was, there was a, I could look at his face and tell this man was tr telling the truth. He's like, I don't care. We, we're going to win over, over time because we've got the demographics, meaning they've got the young people, they've got the non-white people. That's what that's what that means. And th we've got the issues that the Republicans hold on to too many losing issues. Mm -hmm. And I've written down uh, half a dozen of them. We've here. gone through gay marriage and marijuana legalization. Yeah, so those far. are two easy ones. We'll want to get to we'll get to more of your list here, but get to your calls first at 855 450 free. You know, ISIS crisis or is it just more hype? Antiwar.com has the answers. They have the facts, the readership. What antiwar.com does not have is a pot of gold. 
The war machine has the magic of the Federal Reserve printing press and the mainstream media behind them, but all antiwar.com has is you. Their staff is down to a skeleton crew with minimal pay, and they're committed to keeping the website up with the best of the worst of all the bad news, but they can't do it for free, and they need your help, your donation. Please go to antiwar.com and donate or give them a call today. They proudly and gladly take Bitcoin. That's antiwar.com slash donate. Because war is the health of the state. Let's go to your calls and thoughts here. What are some of the losing issues you can say uh, on both sides? Now, again, this doesn't mean you agree or disagree with the position that the party takes on the issue. Uh, This is just can you identify what those losing issues are? What is it that the party is is holding on to, some position they have that they're refusing to change their position on, and it's going to bring them down? Let's go to Robert in Wilmington. You're on Free Talk Live listening to WILM. Hello, Robert. Hey, how you doing? I'm a first time listening to your Welcome, sir. Uh, station. i uh, really enjoying it. Well, I think a losing issue for the Democrats is, is going to be the race baiting. Uh, just like in Ferguson, they, they try to use the flyers to say, you know, vote Democrat, because if you vote, basically you vote for Republicans, your child's going to get shot. They keep playing that, that race card. Secondly, I do not think gay marriage is a losing issue for for Republicans. Really? I uh, we, we, we are a Judeo-Christian nation, and drawing a parallel between slavery and gay marriage, uh, there is none. Uh, well, it's, people telling you, it's the government telling you what you can do with your life. Right. Well, it's the government telling you what, what, what you can do with your life, but I, I really think as a, you know, as, as a conservative myself, uh, we can make a difference between marriage and we can make a difference between civil union. If someone wants to have a civil union, fine. That's what what Republicans are saying. That's kind of no, 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 no. That is not what Republicans are saying. (laughs) Believe me, I'm telling you. I work within the Republican Party. They are not saying. You know what we need? We need a semantic issue, a semantic separation between (laughs) what guys, uh, people getting a contract to live together. That some Republicans are certainly saying that. Um, I don't think that. uh, I, I don't think that that's what most Republicans are saying. If or the ones that are against gay marriage, at least. Okay, well, I well, we, we have to agree to disagree, but I just don't think it's a losing. So issue Robert's backing me we, up we, on we this get... one. I pointed that out earlier that I don't think the Republicans in this case believe these are losing issues, at least the ones we've been through uh, thus far. And I want to back that up further. Go ahead, Mark. Okay, so uh, Robert, um, the the Constitution says that states have to recognize contracts uh, that are you know, started in other states, right? Correct. Okay, so um, in the state of New Hampshire, uh, two men or two women can get married. Should the state of North Carolina have to recognize that? No, it should not. Isn't that a contract? Yes, it, it is a contract. It's a and, different you know, contract. And, that, and, and it, but this is where this is where the laws have have to be the law of the land with with the federal government. The federal government, uh, I, I believe, we need to get people in there that that's going to say no. A marriage is defined between a man and a woman. So what and you're saying is you I, think the federal government should impose that view down on all 50 states, despite what those 50 I, I, states have done? I most certainly do. So and you I think that's a winning issue? So you believe in centralization of power. Would that be a, a correct statement? Well, I don't believe—you know what? I just firmly believe in the definition of marriage should not be changed. But so, you don't believe I mean, in it, federalism. It, it, I understand what you believe. No. That's clear. And I don't want to know what – the because, look, I, I've got all my beliefs on this too. But I want to know, do you think that's a winning issue? You really believe yeah, that the does. people of the United that. States – he has. I just I just can't believe him. <laughs> I, I just, haven't hung out with enough I Republicans. Think a, majority, a, a majority of America is still Judeo-Christian. And, <laughs> yes, if a majority of Americans are still Judeo-Christian, I do believe firmly – that they do not support re- redefining the definition. You know, the Episcopal of Church is marrying gays, right? The Quakers are yeah, marrying right. gays. There's lots yeah, of Christians yeah. that are marrying gays. But it's a small percentage. It's not the majority. You know, that's just like saying— Yeah, but the Christians know, aren't a majority either. You <laughs> know the what? people that go to church— <laughs> It's what five to ten percent of the population is, is considered gay, or, or whatever the case may be. I'd say five. And you know we, and we are sitting here acting like it's ninety percent. It, it, it isn't. No, so, I'm yes, not acting I like do, that at all. I, I'm not acting okay, like that. Well, I just act like you, I look, respect okay. human rights, and you know, if two people want to be together, one that's more not thing. My, I think is, I think this one's really important. You know why the marriage license was instituted nationwide, right? 
No, inform me. Go, go okay, inform it was to keep black it. people and white people from intermarrying. Because the marriage, George Washington and Martha Washington weren't married by the government. They had it written in their Bible. And that's how marriages were prior to the end of the Civil War. But the problem was is that, you know, black people and white people might want to get married. So they passed laws the marriage license to prevent that from happening. And it was reasonably successful for some decades. And then, of course, that got overturned as time. And then it was sort of a social pro, uh, prescription against uh, that kind of marriage. And then at time, that's gone away, too, or at least somewhat. So do you want to use this same um, item, the same license of exclusion that was created to exclude people from marriage on another group of people? No, I want to use yes, the Bible do. that defi- that defines what the definition between a I man, don't want uh, your Bible. But shouldn't the Bible, I don't want your Bible to tell me okay. how to live. Yeah, I mean, shouldn't uh, well, shouldn't the state what? be separated from religion? It's not about religion? wanting the Bible to tell us how, how, how to live, but you know what? That's what we base our laws on. No, you don't, because the men can't good. have multiple yes, wives do. in this country. If the, the Bible is very clear mm. how many wives Abraham had. This is not a biblical definition of marriage. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, it's just kind of disturbing to me. I thought you, I thought Republicans talk about being small government. Is that just not the case? Yes, Republicans do talk about. But you, government. you've advocated tonight for the centralization of power. I mean, you're saying the federal government should foist a particular viewpoint uh, that is that you know gay people shouldn't get married upon all fifty states, regardless of what those individual state legislatures and voters have have passed in those states. So you're arguing for the centralization of powers, and that essentially arguing for a big central government. Well, then you know what? I will argue that each state does not allow it then. Is that, does that make it better? I, I, will argue <laughs> I guess it's better. In each state. <laughs> it's better. Yeah but, would you, yeah, but you wouldn't oppose it, though, if somebody was proposing what I was talking about, where the feds were going to force it on people. I mean, I'm sure you and your, your uh, Republican brethren would not oppose that. I thank you for the call tonight, Robert. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And that's because principles don't matter to these people. I mean, they... Uh, they they have a viewpoint, and they want to shove it down on top of all of the population, regardless of the damage it's going to cause them. And I agree with you, Mark. I think this is a losing issue, but I want to re- I'll want to reiterate my point well, I made briefly earlier, and that is that they don't think it's a losing issue, because you said 90% of them think it's a losing issue, and I think you're completely wrong well, about he, that. I, I think he's in the 10%. If 90% of Republicans thought it was a losing issue, they'd strike it from their platform, and they haven't done that. They're going to cling to this until the bitter end until some sort of you know rush of reality makes it clear to them that this is in point of fact a losing issue until then they're going to cling to all of the you know evidence to the contrary you know that the fact that they talk about preventing gay people from getting married gets people showing up at their events it gets donations flowing into the the party and really it's about keeping the party going probably more so than what will win at this point it's free talk live Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Majid lives in Nor Devin, Armenia with his wife, kids, and grandkids all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems 
system today, complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231, and the Berkey Guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey Guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey Guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. Are you about to meet the media? If you're about to be interviewed, do their homework for them. Know this about the person who will interview you. He or she is busy, so expect minimal, if any, preparation. He or she doesn't know as much about your topic as you do. He or she isn't as concerned as you are about getting your message out, so you need to take responsibility. Provide a biography and fact sheet, photographs, or other materials that tell your story story. Reporters won't be put off if you supply frequently asked questions. Remember, Public Speaking 101, at the end of the speech, what's the one thing you want them to remember? You can download the document I supply to reporters who interview me and squirm through a video that demonstrates how not to conduct your media interview at www.survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything here toll-free. It is the live Saturday edition of the program. We're talking about the winning issues or losing issues what are the uh, the winners and the losers specifically the losers but uh, the, the, the question is what are they for both parties although mark your list that you've come up with is for the republicans you are involved with the republican party and, and you ran for dem uh, for governor as a democrat i did but i'm not involved with the with the democratic party in any way shape or form yeah i'm just only uh, barely involved I, i'm a delegate to the state convention so you know i i couldn't tell you I, I i really you asked me what would i say about what are these losing issues and i don't really know i don't really know what the i don't really know what the democratic position uh, or the republican position is on most of these issues war on drugs i think the democrats are in favor of the war on drugs so i consider that to be a losing issue and and uh, both the Republicans and Democrats are on the same side of, of that particular issue. I don't think they are, issue. Um, especially the war on drugs on marijuana specifically. Remember, societies tend to change slowly, not quickly. Mm. All the pr um, prohibitions on drugs didn't come in one day. They came over time. Most of them came over time because of uh, you know issues with partic particular ethnicities. Opiates was because of the Chinese. Marijuana was because of the um, uh, Central Americans. Uh, alcohol and well, alcohol prohibition had more to do with uh, it was a male female argument. And um, cocaine. Really, there's articles out there that say we can't have cocaine because these uh, you know uppity black men will uh, lose. Their, forget their place. Well, the Democrats haven't done a damn thing to end the war on drugs, so I'm pretty sure that means they are in favor of the war on drugs. That's, so, like I said, I don't really know exactly what the political positions are. I've never checked either party's platform to, you know, get their view of things. To me, it's really irrelevant. But I think it's interesting, you know, the conversation that we're having here because you're asking our listeners, who probably are a little bit more well versed as, you know, active members. Some of them may be active within those political parties. You know, what are the losing issues? Can you identify them? Can you? 
you know, from a from a somewhat disconnected perspective, try to disconnect yourself from the party's platform and what they, you know, how they see these issues, and say to yourself, should the position on this issue be different? Should it be different to in order to win uh, an election? Right. And, and well, I don't think the question's very good at this point because we've gone so far. We've had two calls on it. The first guy didn't really even answer the question. He just talked about the last election. Mm -hmm. The second guy, um, Robert, who I think we kind of got off topic with him talking about the morality of his stand or whatever, the, the feasibility of a stand. But, uh, you know, he believed that gay marriage was a winning issue for Republicans. And, and you believe he's in a 10% minority of Republicans, and I don't see any evidence for it. Okay. I imagine we'll talk to some more people here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You and I may be able well, to say I don't, this. And I don't want to know. A caller, I don't, whoever you are, I don't want to know what you think you can turn into a winning issue. I want to know what is a winning issue today. So you want to hear one of mine, Ian? Oh, a winning issue? Yeah, today. Okay. Like a winning issue for your party. Which side of history do you want to be on? So, um, so we've got we've talked about marijuana. I think the Republicans are on the wrong side of that. The Democrats are on the right side of it, marginally, not totally. Um, gay marriage. I think the Democrats are largely on the right right side of that one. Republicans, uh, by right, I mean winning side. Excuse me, uh, the winning side of that one. Republicans are on the losing side of that one. Um, the abortion issue. This is one that is never going to get solved legislatively for the Republicans. Now, it is a huge moneymaker, but it's they're not going to win on it. Like, it, let it go. Wait, who's not going to win on that? The Republicans, the whole pro-life thing. It is not a winning stance. I don't know, man. Toll-free number is 855-453. I don't think the Republicans are going to agree with you at all on this. Uh, let's go to uh, Jan in Virginia, listening to WNIS. Hello, Jan. You're on Free Talk Live. Hi, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, my first comment is it sounds as though that you want the GOP <clears throat> to just simply give up their core values. Well, um, I don't. The GOP doesn't have core values. It is a huge big tent party with a bunch of different people. Sure, the core value is bigotry, Mark. <laughs> no, I don't think that's what it is. And I'd like to hear what uh, she has to say. Well, you. Oh gosh, there's so many things. But the first one is you wanted to know what would be a winning issue for the GOP, yeah. and that would be. Uh, of something everyone can agree on if we just present it right, and that's shrinking the welfare state. Yeah, I think that that um, yes, I would agree with that. And when I spoke to the senior staffer for the senator, he said that the libertarian vein of the GOP is the only thing that he's scared of. He's not scared of the social conservatives. He's scared of the libertarians, and the libertarians would want to sh shrink the welfare state. So, what's the losing oh. issue that you think the GOP needs to get rid of? Let's see. I, I, I don't know. I was so concentrating on what we should be for. I because I do still think that they do have core issues, and abortion is a core issue. Oh, I think it's it a is. core issue. How about gay marriage? Mark yeah. said ninety percent of Republicans think gay marriage is a losing issue, whether they like it or not. Right. Uh, what do you it think? Probably is. I don't think it's been presented properly, uh, because as we both know, they'll never just stop with two guys and two gals. They, they, they won't stop. They've already started. Before down you the know road it, it's places. horses and dogs. <laughs> well, they've now listen, don't make fun of something that you disagree with. They've already started down the road of polygamy. It's already there. What's for wrong God's with sake, that? We already have reality it, shows. We're for Abraham. Well, yeah, what's wrong with polygamy? We already have reality shows. Uh huh. So what if I want to have stop. two wives or a wife and a husband? I mean, why shouldn't I be able to? Because. What the core values of most Judeo-Christian people are, and I grant it, it's not a complete majority anymore in the U.S., but the core value is what's best for the country, what's best for society, and what's hmm. best for society isn't three moms and three dads. But wait a minute, uh, Jan, so I'm not— I'm not interested in forcing my core values down your throat, but it sounds like you are interested in forcing yours down mine. That's not very neighborly, is it? No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm not voting for what is best for you. I'm voting for the big tent, which is what is best for society. And chaos is not what's best for society. And I do want to mention one of the well, quick things. Chaos? Well, before you go on, Jane, I've, I've got a question. So um, uh, now my uh, great-grandmother, uh, Pauline, she... Uh, she got a switch, uh, a cherry switch, and she beat
beat my great uncles, um, her her sons, uh, for when she found a deck of cards and mm. some dice on them. Now this would have had to have been somewhere around 1915. But the story, she apparently beat them well enough that um, the story got passed down to me. Jesus told her to do it. Now this is a conservative issue, right? Like th- this woman. Nothing but a conservative from the old country. And at one point, this would have been the conservative stance that you Gambling's can't. Gambling bad. The gambling is bad. But I suspect most of the people listening to me have at the very least pay, played cards for pennies. And whereas my grandma Pauline would have beaten you with a with a, uh, a stick over this. Well, clearly they didn't get beaten enough. She didn't have the historical uh, vision to realize that, yeah, you can play pennies for, you can play for pennies uh, for dice or whatever and it would be okay. What do you think? I mean, you you really think that the gay marriage thing can stand the test of time here? If it's presented in the right way, and I do want to mention one quick thing that either one of you had talked about, and that is we want to be able to to be with what's popular. Well, oh no, I don't. (laughs) Yes, we just that's what you just said. But anyway, earlier in the conversation, if you want to win, about the hypocrisy of the gay population, they want it both ways. They don't want the, <laughs> That's the bi population. In their, <laughs> they don't want the government in their. They don't want the government in their lives. But yet, you talk about me shoving down my values down your throat. What about the florists and the cake makers out there who want to live their core religious values? I agree with you they there, Jan. I yeah, think that absolutely. This is the reason I'm no longer pro gay marriage. I was pro gay marriage, government gay marriage, until I found out what cake makers, what what gays, you know, gay people were going to use. Yeah, but that doesn't have to do with gay to go, marriage. It Mark. does that absolutely to have to do with it. I am now anti government marriage. That's the only story. Okay, that's, that's the fine. only position that's I'm going fine. to take. The but position is just the government clear. should give the same, uh, you know, the same uh, license that it gave to George and Martha Washington, which is to say none. So, Jan, can you clarify something for me? Mark says he thinks that 90 percent of Republicans uh, believe that gay marriage is a losing issue, uh, that, that they believe it's a losing issue. But the Republicans uh, continue to push push it as though it's a winning issue. Do you think it's a winning issue for the Republicans? And do you think that 90 percent agree with you? Or and you're not allowed to say if it's presented properly. I want to know today because we know what is how it's going to be presented. We've seen how it's going to be presented. It's presented the way it's presented. Is it a winning issue? Uh, it is a winning issue. No, it's not. And do you think 90%? This is why the Republicans oh. are going to be losers. Right, okay. This is why the Senate staffer, but, hold on, Ian. This is why the Senate staffer said he has no fear of the Republican Party. This is why a Democratic Senate staffer says he has no fear because they've got the demo- right. they've got the demographics and they've got the issues. Just, because the Republicans, and I'm sorry I am one, are clueless. Backing me up again, Mark. As I pointed out, your statistic is completely wrong. Jan, would you say that Mark's statistic is incorrect uh how many what percentage of republicans believe that gay marriage is a losing issue a very small amount but also you 10%? guys are being complete 20 percent. you guys are being complete cynics you don't know for 100 percent certain who's going to come down the road as a different presenter of these core values for the republican party you Jen, don't know thank that. you for the call tonight i do appreciate hearing i from you. i know what the losers are i'm i you know <laughs> So far Sorry. tonight, 100% of the people that uh, have responded to your question <laughs> have thought that gay marriage is a winning issue for the Republicans, Mark. As I told you, they don't believe what you think. It's Free Talk Live. Are you familiar with our movies on the U.S. Constitution featuring experts like Ron Paul, Edwin Vieira, G. Edward Griffin, and Pat Buchanan? Movies such as Fiat Empire, Original Intent, Cultural Marxism, Corporate Fascism, and Molan La Bay. Want to become an associate producer on our seventh feature documentary, Midnight Ride? Simply go to midnightride.us and donate what you can. Midnightride.us. Lumber Liquidators, America's largest specialty flooring store, is using our buying power to offer great deals on over 230 hardwood and laminate floors just in time for the holidays. Get pre-finished three-quarter inch solid maple for $159 a square foot. That's more than half off other stores. Save up to 43% on our thickest and best laminates. Plus, attach padding at no extra cost and get other incredible flooring deals. Plus, 18 months special financing. Get to your local store. These deals are going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. 
When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, November 8th, 2014. Silver is trading at $15.80 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,178 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $344. Antiwar.com reports the White House has announced that President Obama has authorized a plan to more than double the number of U.S. ground troops in Iraq, signing off on another 1,500 troops. Officials declined to offer details about the timing of the deployments or what the massive number of new advisors will actually be doing on the ground in Baghdad and Erbil. Last week, however, General Martin Dempsey began pushing the idea of moving the advisors out of Baghdad and Erbil and onto the front lines with Iraqi ground troops in combat against the Islamic State. The White House also revealed they are pushing the lame duck Congress to agree to another $5.6 billion for funding the war. So far, most of the cost of the war has been buried in other Pentagon funding for contingencies, though repeated escalations are making it harder to do this. That's likely to lead to a clash between the administration and the incoming super hawkish Congress, which is planning to push for an outright ground war in Iraq and Syria, and will no doubt use its power of the purse as leverage to try to force such escalations. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. UPI reports the Supreme Court decided to take up consideration on whether the Patient Protection Affordable Care Act allows for subsidies in states without their own insurance exchanges. Justices announced Friday afternoon they would hear a review of King v. Burwell, a Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals case in which judges unanimously upheld an interpretation of the law that allows subsidies for residents of states that do not set up their own insurance exchanges. Critics of the law have interpreted a particular phrase in the law which says subsidies were to be available for those enrolled through an exchange established by the state to mean that those enrolled through federal exchanges did not qualify. Judge Roger Gregory, writing for the Fourth Circuit, agreed with the argument made by the administration that Congress's intent in writing the law clearly meant to include federal exchanges, an interpretation that is supported by numerous public statements of lawmakers and aides involved in the process. The case, should the Supreme Court side with the challengers, has serious implications on the long-term stability of the patient protection. Protection Affordable Care Act, prohibiting those millions of people from receiving subsidies would strike a serious blow to the law, perhaps dooming it altogether. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Coinbase also allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin using a bank account or use their tools to accept Bitcoin as a merchant. Coinbase has more than 1 million consumer wallets and is trusted by over 25,000 merchants, including Overstock.com, Khan Academy, Reddit, and of course, FPP. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at Coinbase.FPPRadio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. 
Reuters reports President Barack Obama will nominate Brooklyn federal prosecutor Loretta Lynch to replace the retiring Eric Holder as U.S. Attorney General. The 55-year-old North Carolina native and Harvard-trained lawyer has deep experience in both civil rights and corporate fraud cases. Lynch is known for a low-key personality and stirred little controversy during her two tenures as U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of New York. The Senate twice previously has voted to confirm her as a federal prosecutor, the last time in 2010. In a statement, White House spokesman Josh Ernest called Lynch a strong, independent prosecutor and said Obama would formally announce her nomination to be the nation's top law enforcement official at an event in the White House Roosevelt Room on Saturday. Sources close to the administration said they expect Lynch will generate little controversy, making for a smooth Senate confirmation process. Chuck Grassley, the top Republican on the Senate Judiciary Committee, said she will receive a fair but thorough vetting by the panel. Her nomination would be one of the first big changes for Obama to announce after Republicans won control of the Senate in congressional elections on Tuesday. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Odds are, if you've looked outside recently, you've noticed that all dogs everywhere are running. Scientists can't explain why all over the world, dogs of every breed are running nonstop. I'm joined now by animal behavior expert, Dr. Charles Davenport. Charles, what can you tell us? All we know for sure is that the dogs are running fast. But we don't know why the dogs are running? There are a few reasons that dogs normally run. Because they're excited or scared, or they see something they want far away, or because they're happy. However, usually, they don't run at the same time or in the same direction. Do we have any idea where the dogs are running? West. All the dogs are running west. Do we expect the dogs to ever stop running? We don't know. Animal behavior can evolve over time. Maybe running forever is just what the dogs do now. Dr. Davenport, is there any chance that the running dogs are somehow related to last night's blue meteor shower? Or the fact that horses are screaming? Inconclusive. Well, please keep us posted. Up next, where are all the children? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. It is the live Saturday edition of the program. We, of course, invite you here to take control of the airwaves. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And joining you in the studio tonight, you have Ian. And Mark. We started out the show tonight with a question that came out of a train trip that you recently took, Mark. You were sitting next to or nearby someone who next to. Uh, was a staffer, a high, high-ranking high staffer for some senator. Yeah. And, and I'm not giving, revealing any of that information because I like this guy. I had a five-hour conversation with him. And this was a deep and intimate conversation. And I was amazed by the things that I learned from him. And I have no intention of outing him for talking to the enemy. Okay, well, it doesn't matter to me who he works for anyway. It's you know you just don't like politicians, to but me. that's so but lots of people would probably want to know. Yeah. Well, anyway, so you talked to this guy, and he was all jazzed up, even though the Democrats just lost uh, the election. He was unconcerned because, because he felt like you know they've got the issues, they've got the people, the demographics, you know, yep. that kind of th- got that kind of thing. And your question was, and correct me if I've got this wrong, your question was essentially. Well, can the people within the Republican Party or Democratic parties identify losing issues within their party? And I don't know if they can. I'm beginning to to, to agree with you. So far, we've had two calls, three three calls that sort of back you up that the last lady called Jane. She gay called, marriage has been one of them. That gay we marriage has been one of them. Um, as a losing issue for the Republicans. Robert says that he believes gay marriage is a winning issue. Jane says that she believes it is if it's presented properly. Um, but... Like so far, we couldn't find a losing issue that comes from the Republicans. Well, I think about if you think about it from this perspective, you're asking people with a bias. Yeah. Right? Uh, but it, that's what you're supposed bias. to be able to know. Look, I've got a bias towards me. I know I could lose 15 pounds. <laughs> I know my ears are big and I know my hair's gra- graying. I mean, you are, if you can't tell these things, then you're, I, you're irrational. That's an interesting point. I, like, I like where you're coming from there, but we're not talking about observations about yourself, which are immediately okay, obvious. Okay, I love my wife and I love my kid, but I can tell you things about them that need we're improvement. Talking about, we're talking about beliefs. We're talking about these we're talking people about, have. 
have radical, nearly religious adherence. Apparently, that's what this is. I mean, they these are beliefs. They're very firmly held beliefs, and so inevitably, confirmation bias is a factor but here. If you love the Republican Party, if the Republican Party is is the right uh, is the right institution to lead America, mm. then you should be able to identify one something that's wrong. Thing, <laughs> one thing that they're doing wrong. Well, okay, she gave you one earlier. The last caller, Jan, she said that uh, it needs to be communicated better. They uh, they need they need to communicate their hatred. No, for you've got stinky issues. Marriage. It's not about communication. Republicans have been saying it's about communication for a long time. This staffer, this Democratic staffer, laughed in my face when I was talking about the Republicans <laughs> getting better at doing. Uh, I mean, these people can't do email. They're talking about email marketing to uh, their their voters at this point. They can't do Facebook. They can't do Twitter. The Republicans mm. learning how to communicate better. Scoff. Chuckle. Let's go to your calls. I, I'd like to continue my thoughts on this confirmation bias here in a moment. But uh, if you're, if you would like to answer the question, now you don't have to be a Republican. You can be a Democrat also. Call in. You know what's a losing issue that the Democrats are currently going. I would for, love to know what a right? losing issue is for the Democrats. Uh, I think that the people who are going to be able to most effectively answer this question are going to be people who maybe used to be in the parties. You know, they've uh, they've now left the parties due to some sort of disgust, uh, perhaps. But I think that the true adherents, you're not going to get a straight answer out of them. Let's go to Bob. Listen Listening in Georgia, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Bob. Bob in Georgia, going once. Bob, um, you're there. I, can you hear me? Yep, go ahead. Okay, so basically, I just want to say that the Republicans' losing issue is definitely gay marriage, and here's why: in order to, in the very equal protection uh, clause in the Thirteenth Amendment, states clearly that if you're going to have one right. For one group of people, it should be for all people. So essentially, there are 1,042 different tax breaks for uh, uh, non-gay people that decide to get mm -hmm. married. Um, and there are lots of other civil rights issues associated with marriage. So, Bob, are you, you a Republican? I'm a libertarian. Okay, yeah. okay, that's a check oh. in my column there. Yeah, I, at this uh, point, uh, you know, I, I would agree with Bob, but uh, you know, he does not qualify as <laughs> part of the 90% of Republicans well, that know that this is a stupid losing issue. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's 90%, brother. I'm sorry, there's <laughs> well, no evidence to back I, your statement. I voted Republican, but um, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Right here. we haven't bumped okay. you yet. Um, so the Democrats, their losing issue is most definitely the economy. I don't believe that raising taxes and all that stuff is really the key. And then, you know, because basically the welfare state, all it does is why we, why you have, and I know this because I worked with people in construction that were working under the table, and they were doing so because as soon as they have a job, as soon as they have any kind of money, they get kicked out of welfare. And then so all it does is it makes people afraid of losing their food stamps. And it, it, they are afraid to achieve because they've been, you know, fed the scraps from the table, you know, like the good dogs they are. They eat them, and then they don't go. They don't go for their maximum potential. So that's why, as far as standing the test of time, the welfare state will fall, where it must change. Bob, thanks um, for the call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. Let's go to Daniel. He is down south of the border in Mexico via Skype. Daniel, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi there. Hey, so, donde estas? The, the, the yes, audio's yeah. darn good. Oh, well, it, it is Skype. So, all right. Where so, are you uh, in Me in uh, Mexico? I am just south of San Diego. Okay, gotcha. We call that Tijuana. <laughs> A little bit further south than that, but south of Tijuana. Enough. Go ahead with your thoughts, sir. Uh, well, my my one is actually the minimum wage. Now, realize I am. Yeah, no, hold on. Just to be clear, oh, oh, before you go on, are you saying that this is a losing issue for the Republicans or the Democrats? Unfortunately, it is a losing issue for the Republicans. I now, might agree with I you. Am, I am completely against minimum wage at all. I mean, right now we have you know, minimum wage, which says you can work for zero or you can work for minimum wage, but you can't work in between, which is completely nonsense. Mm -hmm. it, it gets but, in the way of people uh, having the freedom to contract. A absolutely, it does. But the reason why it is a losing issue is because as part of the school system and the general uh, media and everything is everyone pushes this idea of uh, basically Keynesian policies and Keynesian thought on economics. And people think that the minimum wage is a good thing. And you are not going to change that for the population. So that's why it is a losing issue, even though it's the wrong issue. 
Yeah, mm. I, I think I agree. Minimum wage is an easy one to sort of sell. There was some signs up in New Hampshire, increase the minimum wage. What they don't realize is— And it won, by the way, on all the state ballots around the country. Yeah, what they don't realize is what Inflation. this does is this prices out, especially the young people. Um, young people enter the job market um, th- not knowing that you have to be to work on time, not knowing you have to smile at customers, not knowing that you have to sort of do some things and keep your mouth shut at times. They don't understand what it takes to be an employee, and that's kind of what the minimum wage is intended for. The minimum wage is an amount of money that you pay a 14, 15, 16-year-old person to learn how to work. Now, I am with you, and I understand that people are getting, you know, 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds are making minimum wage and sometimes working two jobs to make ends meet. What that means to me is that we've gone through an economic contraction and that a minimum wage creates a floor beneath which you can't uh, we can't go, that pricing out the young people. So this makes it very difficult. When we raise the minimum wage, we're not raise. we're not, the intention isn't to raise, well, actually, the intention is to raise money for breadwinners, but minimum wage is supposed to be some pocket money for you to buy CDs and bubble gum or whatever it is that 16-year-olds buy. I don't know anymore. Well, most heads of household are not making minimum wage. They're making above that. They're like making some, somewhere above, above it. Yeah. Um, but there are way too many people that are making way too little money for, to live, and I don't know what to do about that. That has a lot more to do with economic policies besides the minimum wage. And so, this is a simple issue that people tend to get on one side or the other. Of. So my question, I guess, would be, Mark, you were talking about these losing issues for the Republicans. Should the Republicans uh, start supporting increases in the minimum wage in order to get votes? Well, you know what my if you want my practical opinion, I'm going to sound like Jane here for a second. You know, um, drop all the crappy social issues that mm-hmm. uh, aren't going to go anywhere and put your full force effort behind the economic issues. That's Republicans have winning issues in many cases on economic issues. Now, the frankly, here's the truth about the Republican Party on a national level. National Republicans get in office. They talk about how they're going to be fiscally conservative. Mm-hmm. They get in. They rob poor people for the benefit of rich people. They lie. They lie. They lie. Oh, yeah, good. Good but call, by the way, Daniel. Thank you. That, you know, nonetheless, uh, the Republicans have issues that uh, they win on the economic side. All right. Toll free number is 855 450 free. You can share your thoughts here on Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition. More coming up. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800 691 6129. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. This was the quote from the DEA's paperwork. Only products that were primarily intended or designed for use in injecting, ingesting, inhaling, or otherwise introducing marijuana and other controlled substances into the the human body. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how out of touch these people are. They're trying to make it look like marijuana users are strung Injecting out things. heroin <laughs> junkies. <laughs> right. And it's just not true. No. Look, if you were to ever even try to put <laughs> plant material mm. in a syringe and inject that into your veins. It's going to go poorly for it's you. It's going to work <laughs> once. <laughs> You're going to get high one last time if you even <laughs> if you even make it to that point. Yeah. That's I mean, <laughs> not a good idea. Never in the history of marijuana consumption has anyone ever injected it into their veins. <laughs> yeah. Kids don't try that at home. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, you're invited here to take control of the airwaves. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, we started out with a couple of assertions from Mark, some of which have proved, I think, so far to be uh, untrue, specifically that 90 percent of Republicans, Republicans know that gay marriage is a losing issue, meaning that their current position on it, uh, which is to oppose it, uh, is a losing issue. And so far, the callers who have identified themselves as Republican have vehemently disagreed with you. Every time I give, you know, the average, you know, the average person credit for rationality. I, I always get stung. So toll-free number, if you'd like to uh, sh- chime in here, not just on that issue, but also what are the losing issues? Can you, as a Republican or as a Democrat, can you objectively identify losing issues within your party's platform? So far, it hasn't seemed very objective uh, thus far tonight. Now, we've only really heard so far from Republicans. Again, there's no reason why a Democrat couldn't call in with the same per- you know, the same issue uh, you know, what is a losing issue that your party currently has? Our toll-free number is 855-453. We've got Skype as well. Skype on into the show at username lrn.fm. And uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies, that's what readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Their readers are constantly provided the detailed real news that lies between the lines of propaganda and the relationship we have with coercive governments. Freedomsphoenix.com offers up-to-the-minute updates on the economy, technology, communications, and the rise of the police state. Go to freedomsphoenix.com and sign up for their uh, free daily dispatch. That's freedomsphoenix.com. To the phones and your calls and thoughts. We've got Steve in St. George. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, great topic. I think you hit on a winner here. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, um, what I'm thinking is uh, most Republicans, I used to be one, and I don't consider myself really a Republican any longer, but most Republicans are going to have a hard time seeing that gay marriage is a losing issue because most of the issues that Republicans get behind are uh, moral issues, and they're seeing it as if you don't support this and you don't you don't hold the framework of the of our nation together in some way. We're going to go go down the uh, history pages just like the Roman Empire. You Sodom know. and Gomorrah. You know, it's trotted out all the time. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm yeah, exactly. stunned that my party, you know, constantly is calling me some kind of uh, sinful infidel or whatever. But that seems to be what they do. I mean, well, there's... you're not a gay you're not a gay man. You just support you know gay people being able to self self actualize and live. Together I think the Republicans could the Republicans could win elections because I agree with this Senate this Senate staffer, this Democratic Senate staffer that told me he has no fear of the Republican Party 
because the Democrats have the issues and they have the demographics. I agree with him because I understand the Republican Party is going down in flames unless it evolves. And if it does not evolve, and uh, and I think that the one most important issue we haven't gotten to is essentially its stand on immigration um, because mm. uh, this is this is a huge issue. And if it doesn't involve evolve in that area, that it's out. The, some, the Democratic Party is going to have to split or the Republicans are going to have to evolve in some way. But this whole social conservatism, moral majority crap, that, sh- that stuff should have gone out in the 80s. Correct. And so, uh, you, am I still there? You're right here. Go ahead. Okay, cool. Um, and so, but uh, on the re- Democrat side of the issue, I see uh, the majority of the issues that they, they can get people to sucker into are the demise of the of the country? You know, uh, if you raise minimum wage to a thousand dollars an hour and and uh, legislate businesses out of existence, and you, um, I'm trying to think of a few more of their stands, then eventually we'll have the USSA. You know, so we'll be, and then the nation will crumble and we'll start over. Thanks for your call tonight, Steve. I appreciate hearing from you. Let's continue. We've got uh, Michael listening in Virginia Beach to WNIS. Hello, Michael. Uh, hi, I'm very surprised at Mark's position tonight because he sounded very intelligent one week ago tonight uh, when uh, he suggested that there was barely any difference between the two parties. And if you think by voting for anybody in either of those two parties you're going to change anything, you're deluded. I agreed with him last week wholeheartedly. I called in to say that. Mm-hmm. But now he sounds like he's rejected his own superior wisdom. Well, well how do you think Here's I've rejected it? How do you think I've rejected it? Because well, I really don't think there's that much difference between the parties, but there's certainly some issues that they uh, tend to come down on either side of. I also think their politicians lie to them. But I'm not talking to politicians right now. I'm talking to voters. Okay, well, the assumption that there is any such thing as two separate parties is the first thing that's wrong. Both parties are owned by the Federal Reserve. All politicians in it do what they are told by the Federal Reserve, and anybody who tries to do anything different ends up like four assassinated Wait presidents. Wait a minute. How about Ron Paul? I mean, Ron Paul is definitely anti-Federal Reserve. I mean, how did he get up there and get all that attention without being assassinated, as you're suggesting? Well, because he was nowhere near uh, uh, getting any power. and it's, uh, But he was, a, it's he was a, a representative. I mean, that's a fairly powerful position, right? I mean, that's why people seek it. Uh, he gives the people... The illusion that a choice is available, and so he is valuable to the system, to the Federal Reserve, whom he claims to be totally against. So what you're saying is that Ron Paul, whether he's aware of it or not, is a tool of the Federal Reserve? Absolutely. He is owned (laughs) by the Republican Party, and the Republican Party is owned by the Federal Reserve. Thanks, Michael, for the call, man. I appreciate it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've got Tim in Athol, Massachusetts. You're on Free Talk Live, Tim. Hey, Ian. Can you hear me? You are on the air. Go ahead, Tim. Oh, okay. A couple things. Yeah, I I, I have to agree with uh, Mark on the issue as far as uh, gay marriage being completely irrelevant uh, to Republicans. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. You're saying that gay marriage is not relevant to Republicans? The success of Republicans, I think, is what he's saying. Yeah, it, 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 if you're not bothering anybody, uh, I mean, if you if you fall in love with another man, how does that affect me? Uh, it, it, it Are you a Republican, uh, Tim? I, I have been for the last uh, oof, 25 years or so, but uh, recently uh, have given up all of that uh, Democratic and Republican okay. difference. There's Still, really not no a single Republican calling in tonight. We have had a few ex-Republicans. That doesn't count. Which like does I said, get to was, show... Like I, I said, it was the people who had seen the light, right? That I'm they've not, removed themselves from I'm the I'm not arguing system. with you, Ian, but I would like to point out to the Republicans listening, hey... 
you're shedding people who call themselves Republicans <laughs> because of your stupid social conservative crap. Well, right, you that's are true. killing your party. Yes. You are eating it yeah. to death. And they it don't is, know. You are a cancer in the party. Yes. You are correct about that much tonight. And the thing is, they have no idea, Mark. They, they have know. no idea. They don't know. They think I'm cynical. Tim, go ahead. All right. On a separate issue, the uh, Sean Glans, uh, the Sarasota deputy who slapped somebody upside the head, whose uh, video went viral there. Um, has, has there been any, any calls on that? Or? That's actually the first I've heard of it. I think I saw the headline uh, on Facebook earlier today, or maybe it was Drudge Report. We'll look into that, Tim. Thanks for the call tonight. Ooh, sounds like a Sarasota cop in trouble. That's where we're from originally. More coming up here, 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products, most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Attention men who've taken Androgel or any other testosterone therapy products. Androgel or other low-T products have been linked to heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, even death. Scientific studies indicate that the use of testosterone therapy products may double a man's risk of heart attack. If you or a loved one took Androgel or a testosterone therapy product and suffered from a heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, or any other cardiac event, you might be entitled to financial compensation. You have rights, and you need to let us fight for your rights. And you pay no fees unless we win. So call the Tort Attorneys right now. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. Cases may be referred to participating law firms in your jurisdiction. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. 
You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free. Bring up anything here at 855-450 free. The overarching conversation, however, topic on the table is about what issues, uh, the, what positions on issues are losers that are held by both the Republicans and Democrats, meaning they're going to lose them votes. They're going to lose them support. Uh, we've heard from some former Republicans here tonight who could correctly identify some of the losing issues on the Republican side. But the current Republicans who have called in so far tonight are in firm denial about these being losing issues, like, for instance, gay marriage or the legalization of cannabis uh, Mark, you also brought up uh, immigration. Did you bring that one up or somebody else did? I, yeah, I, I brought up immigration because yeah. I think that this is a real problem for the Republican Party that they um, the Republican Party is perceived as the party of bigots, whether they like it or not. I'm not saying they are. That's not my claim. My claim is, is that um, here's my claim. Bl- black people know which party the KKK votes for. And black people know, excuse me, and Mexican people know uh, which party wants to keep their family out of the country. Like they're clear. And that's a problem for the Republican Party and it needs to be addressed. And they keep on paying lip service to it like they're going Mm. to address it and they don't. So, okay. Now, we pointed out that uh, people who've called in so far, some of them have been former Republicans. The last guy that was on the phone with us, you know, he's. He's seen the light, so to speak, about some of the things that were wrong with the party. He was frustrated with it. He uh, he got out and fairly recently uh, got out of the Republican Party. And you pointed him out as an example. This is what's happening. People are leaving the party. But the thing is, they, uh, they, they've they got these blinders on. They have uh, the blinders of this morality, this viewpoint that they have, that theirs is the right way. The politicians don't have these blinders, mind you. The politicians will do or say what it takes to get, to get, vo- to get, get the votes. Yeah. It's the voters. It's the ditto heads out there or whatever. Right. Those folks can't just can't get their heads wrapped around the idea that they're in the losing party. Well, and there's confirmation bias going on here, too. They have a particular position, and they want to see and hear things that you know reaffirm that position. That's why they listen to conservative talk radio. They want to hear somebody on a microphone talking about how right they are. And how the you know the Republicans are right, and then of course if you get uh, election results where they win, which they did, I mean m- many Republicans swept into office here this year. That's certainly not going to disabuse them of the notion that uh, you know these are the right positions. They're going to believe ever more that aha, see, the people of America do agree with Republicans. They voted for banning gay marriage. They voted for keeping the war on drugs going. You know, even though many people voted for the lesser of two evils, not for those reasons, but the Republicans will believe they're voting for, you know, their positions on the issue. So all of the, you know, the evidence in their face is that they're doing the right thing. In fact, the more they talk about these things, Mark, and this is another aspect to it, remember, politics is not so much about winning elections in some cases. I mean, you do have to win some elections over time in order to keep legitimacy, but it's also about continuing the party. And uh, continuing the party is a money-making thing, sure. even if you're not in power. Somebody yeah, but the is- Democrats are the ones making the money right now. The Republicans are not getting the donations, especially from Wall Street, and there's a reason. It's because Wall Street makes its money on what's going to happen in the future, and they know what's going to happen with the Republican Party, too. Well, my point is, uh, you know, the it, it doesn't matter if they're shedding people, as long as the the people who are still involved are the faithful, they'll continue to dig deep. And it doesn't have to be Wall Street money, Mark. I mean, the the average Republicans also give to their own organizations. They go to the $40 a plate uh, banquet dinners in support of their various candidates and things like that. So there's there's plenty of little donations that come into the party as well. And these donations feed the party apparatus. And, you know, this is true of the Democratic Party as well. Uh, the, The people who are feeding off of that are the Democratic National Chairman, the Republican National chairman, all of their uh, office staff, you know, all of these people require paychecks. And so it's not like they're just going to turn around and change their position on an issue because then they'll alienate their base. They'll alienate their base. Now, you're arguing the base is shrinking. That's what you're arguing. And yeah, uh, yes. You know, there may be evidence for that. Maybe they're looking at the numbers in the national office. Well, their office. base isn't shrinking. It's dying. Okay, well, there's that. <laughs> uh, but maybe they're looking at the numbers in the national office and they're, they're, they know that the numbers are on the downturn. Or maybe they're not. Maybe they're actually getting registrations. I don't know. Let's presume they're registrations on the downturn. Registrations don't matter. Demographics matter. And the Republicans' yeah. demographics stink. Well, but what matters to them is money uh, coming in so they can keep 
pimping their viewpoint. Let's go to you and your thoughts, though. Adam is in Massachusetts. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark on the Live Saturday show. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I really love your show. Uh, I'm a libertarian-leaning Republican. I'm planning on moving up for the Free State Project in about oh, wow. a year or so. After That's great. College down here in Massachusetts. Fantastic. And, um, I, I'm actually uh, listen. I'm actually hanging out with my dad here. Uh, I just showed him uh, the victimless crime spree. He loved it. <laughs> but uh, he's a longtime Democrat, and he really wanted to ask you guys some questions. So. You guys would be cool if I handed it off to my dad here. We'll be nice to him. What's uh, it, what's what's dad's name? Dennis. Dennis. All right. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's talk to Dennis. I would be be happy to field a question or two. We can't do much more than one or two tonight. Uh, Dennis, are you with us? Here, let me hand off the headphones. All right. Good. Good. Good idea. Now, by the way, the toll free number here is eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Dennis. Dennis, hello. Can you yes. hear us? Go ahead, Dennis, with your question. Yes, I can hear you. I'm. I, I, I want to like get off the small time, you know, uh, daily stuff. I, I want to like talk some big picture things. Uh, I want to. I'd like to ask you about uh, exploitation and how society treats everybody. You know, uh, I mean, like. Uh, like we all work and sweat and uh, a large percentage of our work and sweat goes right into somebody else's pockets. Yeah, we call them politicians. Does... <laughs> huh? We call them politicians. Yeah, but it, 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 it's, it, 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 it's, it's at the root. I'm, I'm talking at the root of everything here now. It's like... Um, some people work and some people shuffle papers, but the money rolls into their pockets, and there's no equity here. I mean, I'm, I mean, like, I give you a real quick bio. I'm 54 years old. I ride a bicycle to work because they they took my license because I was because of the recession. I was in noncompliance. I couldn't pay hmm. back child support. Um, Yikes! All right. Uh, it, and it, well, what's the question? I mean, I get that you're saying that you know people are having a tough time in the working world. Uh, what's the question? I mean, what what is what is the game plan for turning this around? I mean, uh, I, I I've just, got an you know, answer for you. Right? I've got an answer, and I wish we had more time, Adam. Call uh, or uh, Dennis. Feel free to call any other time, and we can you know talk further on some of the other questions you might have. But but as far as the game plan question, thanks. We'll get to that. Uh, what is the game plan for turning this around? The the difficulty that uh, that workers have. It's a tough life. You know they're working for somebody else. My plan would be to actually have freedom in the marketplace to where people who are on the lower rungs of the economic ladder could create their own businesses, start their own entrepreneurial you I think know, it's the only way to go. You need to invest little in a business, a business where you can work, not invest in what you do, but work in some way. You know, you, you have low uh, capital expenditure to get mm -hmm. in. Work out of your house. Do whatever it takes to, to, you know, to help people, and that you're going to make all the money. At that point, you can't claim anybody's expenditure. Exploiting you. You're working for you. It's only you working you for you. You can choose which customers you want to deal with. You can choose who your vendors are. You can choose all of that. You're working for yourself in that case. The problem is, with the one of the problems with the system today, is that it's designed to protect the existing businesses from upstarts, from innovators, from entrepreneurs, from the little guy, from the poor. Somebody who wants to, let's say, like restaurant industry is a good example. Uh, if you want to start serving food out of your house, I think you should be able to do it. I don't think you need to. You should be able to, have, or that you have to go and beg permission for some government bureaucrat to come over and inspect your kitchen and hand you some sort of permission slip. Or, of course, that will never work in most places because they're going to want to demand that you have some sort of professional kitchen with a professional vent hood and that you'll have to have uh, a professional location and a commercial building. And you know, there's all kinds of these ridiculous restrictions that are put down on small business people, people who would want to have their dream maybe to start their own business, but they don't have the $500,000 that they would need to comply with all the regulations to open it legally. And that really stands in the way of poor people creating their own opportunities and making life better for themselves and their families. So that's my solution. 855 450 free. You bring up anything. This is Free Talk Live. 
Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Hi folks, Ronnie McMullen here for Life Change Tea. Healthcare is a problem, whether you're for or against Obamacare. It's a mess. My question is, who do you trust? Do you want to be told what to do or do you want to make your own decision? My opinion, preventative maintenance. Keeping your colon clean is preventative maintenance. A little exercise, a balanced diet, and drinking Life Change Tea. It tastes great and it helps with constipation, high cholesterol, liver problems, acid reflux, and much, much more. And with the holiday season upon us, you can get some extra tea for free. Don't wait for Obama. Make your own decision. Order now. Call us at 928-308-0408. That's 928-308-0408. Or you can log on to getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Ridding yourself of harmful toxins is truly preventative maintenance. Getthetea.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com while our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free, bring up anything. The live Saturday edition continues here with me, Ian. And me, Mark. Our number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, and you can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com. Please enjoy the features we have waiting for you there. You can help support Free Talk Live by buying some gold and silver from gold.freetalklive.com. Why would someone want to do that, though, Mark, buying gold and silver? What's Now's the, the time, really. I mean, silver's, last I looked, it was about 1610. They're it, both down. Wasn't gold at like 1100 something? I 
couldn't I think it was at 12 when I looked but wow. it's been a little while it's they're really low priced right now now's the time to look at these metals I can only see them going up in the future could be wrong but uh, well, you know that's you can't my make opinion. a statement like that mark you can't see them going up in the future when the evidence is they go up and down right like I mean the gold had gone up for a time I and said, now it's gone back what did down, I say right? I can't see them not going up in the future you made it sound like they're guaranteed to go up in the future. I mean, they, they're not guaranteed to do anything. Yeah. But silver's at sixteen ten. It hasn't been that in a very long time. It's been a long while. Yeah. It just just seems like they've printed a whole bunch of money. So therefore, um, silver at sixteen ten is worth a lot less than it was several years ago at sixteen ten. Gold, gold is at eleven seventy seven right now. There Some you go. Twelve hundred. You'd want to get uh, your gold and silver at gold.freetalklive.com. Great rates, and uh, you know it helps Free Talk Alive a little bit. Gold.freetalklive.com. Yep, uh, that's right. Did you give out the toll-free number, too? I may, I may 855-450-FREE. That's our call-in number, but I, I meant for the folks who might want to order their gold over the phone. Because not believe it or not, Mark, not everybody uh, has the Internet. So it's important to get that toll-free number out for the, for the gold and silver. For the gold and silver. Got it. Okay, so this is to get gold and silver. 877-857-9938. 877-857-9938. All right, so now we go to your phone calls and thoughts here. Uh, the question earlier was about, you know, what are the winning and, and losing issues? Specifically, what are the losing issues? I think that's more interesting to see, because everybody thinks their party's got winning issues. If they didn't think that, they wouldn't be with the party, right? If you thought your party was full of a bunch of losing issues, why the hell would you be on board? I'm not uh, a part of the Republican Party because I like to be the party of losers. No, I'm no, not. But my point being that... Uh, you know, people think their party has winning issues. Can they see what the losing issues are, or are they blinded by their love for the party? So far, it seems like people are blinded. Uh, at least does, people it's within to seem that way, the yes. Republican Party who've called in thus far tonight. So, if you want to identify a losing issue that your Republican or Democratic Party is currently clinging on to for dear life, we'd love to hear from you. You can also bring up anything. Let's talk to Joe in Los Angeles. You're on Free Talk Live, Joe. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good. Um, Go ahead. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, I, I, I overheard a bit of a conversation you were having with the caller previously about gay marriage, and uh, it got to the point where one of you was saying, "I don't want your Bible. Um, I don't want anybody telling me what to do." And if so, and I was a little fired up about that, um, and which is why I'm calling in. What I've about it? For a little bit. So. What was what okay, was firing so, to you? Yeah. Like, so let me ask you this. Are you guys atheists or? No, or, I'm not an atheist. You know? I'm, I'm probably best described as a deist. I am a panentheist. OK, so which deity are, are do you guys subscribe to? I don't know. Christ, Just a, a, Christ isn't a deity. <laughs> the, well, the well, Christians I mean, are, believe are, that. Are, no, they don't. Yeah. No, they don't. <laughs> well, the Christians believe Christ The is Christians God. believe that God came do down to kill God himself for him in order to satisfy his bloodlust that he created. But they also believe he's God. The Christians believe in the triune God, which is the, you know, the uh, the Father, Son, and you the Holy Ghost. You would call Christ right? God, though. I, I mean, think that's what the Christians God's believe. God's the Father. I know what you're saying, but well, anyway, go ahead, Joe. Okay. So, are we atheists? Uh, the answer I mean, is no, at least not on okay, the show but tonight. You're definitely, you're definitely, you're definitely non-Christian. Is what is I am not a Christian, like although I was at one time in my life, and as was Mark. Right. So what, what changed that? Hmm. Well, for me, um, it was uh, I became an atheist as a teenager, and I stayed an atheist for about a decade. And what changed from being a Christian to an atheist was I had all these questions, and the Christian church just wasn't very good at answering those questions. And there's all these terrible contradictions within their scriptures and their teachings. And the answers to the questions about those contradictions just really— Of course you don't. They just really weren't very well. Convincing. But again, I wasn't. I wasn't personally. I wasn't raised Christian. I, I was actually an atheist myself. I mm. was like, you know, not raised with any religion in particular, and I was kind of lost. And I spent years studying philosophy and studying various religions. And um, the only truth that makes sense to me, the only doctrine that can explain why this world is so upside down, is the doctrine of Christianity, and that's taking into account the reality of angels and demons. And um, oh boy. you know, rebellion to God. <laughs> and, 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 and you I know, know, lots of uh, lots of uh, we got cultures, a demon believer. Lots of cultures believe in demons. This is not by any stretch of the imagination solely a I mean, it's like, Christian it's, it's, Bailouac. It's so, it's so interesting how that how that provokes like almost ridicule. Oh to, yeah, to I'm going to ridicule that. you if you believe in demons. I think you're slap nuts. 
Mark's, you have to forgive Mark. He's yeah, possessed. Look, I believe the demons are the worst know. thing for society. This whole belief process, the idea that um, you know that the diseases are caused by bad spirits. Do you and believe stuff that? Like that? Do you think that demons cause disease? I think that I, what I really do believe at this point, and and again, this is something I've given so much thought to. Me too. I, I believe that that uh, when we live in sin, that we give dominion to demonic forces to mess with our lives and 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 on the subject of gay marriage i believe I when you that, i believe when you believe in sin you give license to preachers to right, run your life obviously no no okay look <laughs> let's just divorce ourselves from from organized religion and i'm just talking from my own because as a christian myself i'm all alone in this world i don't have anybody like my family they're not christian i don't have any i don't have any re like real christian friends that i converse with on a daily basis i don't go to any church right so i'm just a guy who is mm. fairly educated i've done a lot of research on all this stuff you mm. know i've i've been to a buddhist temple i've meditated with with uh, japanese buddhists i've i've interviewed an imam at a, at a at a mosque and this was all for college and and so i'm at a point where i've i've really like you know i've come to christ i i think by the hand of God. Hmm. And so what I'm saying is that on the, on the subject of gay marriage, what, what confuses me is that, look, I have gay friends. I'm not, I'm not condemning anyone. I'm not like, you know, like preaching the gospel or anything. You know, I didn't even talk about this stuff with people, but I can see how the, the how like the, the act of sort of indulging in your every whim and, and desire is not good for us. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. What does that have to do? Hold on. What does that have to do with gay marriage, right? Like, I could understand okay, if what you so were saying was, and I wouldn't necessarily agree, but at least I could understand if what you were saying was that there's so much depravity in the United States and people are indulge, indulging in these desires on a whim. Well, gay people aren't doing things on a whim. Right. They the gay were people born are going to hump. Way. They're going to hump anyway. Okay, They're just but, asking but again, to live together with a contract. I don't, I don't, personally, I don't believe. That there is a genetic link. Have to you talked to your gay friends before? I mean, you said you have gay friends. I mean, talk to them. Ask them when they became gay. Almost all of them will tell well, you well, when they were born. He thinks demons did it, for God's sake. <laughs> I, 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 demons! I think, I, think, I think if you look at, if you look, again, if you look at the research, you look at the statistics, you'll see You'll find demons! Of, 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 uh, abuse. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Abuse that's demons. ridiculous. It's just a ridiculous statement, and I, I that's enough. Toll free number. It's a, the idea that people have been abused. Psychiatrists and, being gay. and psychologists have put that theory away ridiculous. decades ago. It's ridiculous. At least if he were to just claim demons, we wouldn't be able to say anything to it besides ridicule. To say that it was abuse, to say that it was it's anything abuse else. demons. <laughs> um, hold on. So, look, I applaud the man for going and checking with all the other religions along the way. I appreciate sure. that. Good, Good job. You, you've, uh, you've landed on the religion that's right for you. That's fine. Just remember this. Keep it to yourself. God did not ask you to go out and solve his problems for him. You do not need to vote Christianity to be Christian. Mm. Many Christians, uh, Christian religions uh, abhor voting, and they do not vote. The Amish don't Amish, vote. Yeah. Uh, Mennonites don't vote. Jehovah's Witnesses don't vote. They've read their Bible. They've come to the conclusion that voting is not, that forcing your morality on someone else doesn't create more morality, that all it creates is a lashback. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, it's to somebody who says they've got gay friends, and I'm not doubting his claim. He does live in Los Angeles. There's a good chance he knows some gay people. Uh, you know, let's let's believe his claim. I don't think he's ever really had this conversation with them. Just next time you're hanging out with your gay friends and you're at a bar doing things that are not, you know, d demonic or whatever. Is drinking at a bar demonic? It depends I on your religion, your denomination. Uh, so anyway, you're at a you're at a place in which you have a conversation with your friends. Ask them, you know, hey, look, I really want to know. Was this something that, you know, you, the whole gay thing, was that something that happened to you when you were born or did it come about later on in life based on some sort of circumstance where you abused? And if they tell you, which I predict they will tell you, that they've always been attracted to people of the same sex, then will you believe them or will you go on believing that, no, no, somewhere at some point in his life or her life, he or she was abused sexually or physically, and that's why they become, became gay. I used to believe that. Or, no, 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 at some point it was a demon that entered their body, and that's why they became gay. For and me, then in the which case, you would be disbelieving your own friend, and what they told you was their truest you know, form, their belief about themselves, and that's a real insult to them. I used to believe the same thing he did. I came to the conclusion that there are gay animals in nature, and humans are just animals, too.
855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. I just believe what my gay friends tell me. It's free talk live. Kay Oliver is part of the Toyambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. The event you've been waiting for is here. Lumber Liquidators, third annual fall flooring yard sale. It's your chance to get first quality, full warranty, direct from the mill flooring at unbelievable closeout prices. Like oak laminate for an incredible 19 cents a square foot and pre-finished three-quarter inch solid maple for just $149. Plus beautiful bamboo for 63% less than other stores. Take advantage of our 20 years of savings with 20-month special financing and get even more unheard of flooring deals in our stores. Fall flooring yard sale is Thursday through Monday only. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. I'm Mark Stevens of the No Stay Project, and are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're only helping the government. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, spread it. So get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 6, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,144, silver $15.39, and Bitcoin is trading around $338. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat brought to you by our newest sponsor, eFoods Direct. Redefining the way you think about storable food. Easy to make and great tasting with a shelf life of over 25 years. To celebrate our new partnership, eFoods Direct is offering Liberty Beat listeners 10% off their purchases. To take advantage of this exciting offer, call 800-620-5520 and mention coupon code Liberty Beat. To learn more or to buy online, visit eFoodsDirect.com. In the news, on Wednesday, thousands of protesters around the world took part in the Million Mask March, with demonstrators in Washington, D.C. and London challenging the police head-on. London police arrested 10 people after protesters clashed with police officers and allegedly committed assault. At one point, the protesters grabbed metal barriers, which separated police from the activists. In Washington, D.C., protesters also wrestled with police over metal barriers. The mass protesters in the nation's capital verbally challenged the police and called for an end to government corruption. The BBC reports Egypt's policies toward protesting citizens are under review by the Human Rights Council of the U.S.-funded United Nations. Since 2011, revolution has rocked Egypt and caused major upheaval following the ouster of longtime President Hosni Mubarak. After democratically elected Mohamed Morzai was removed by a military coup last year, military ruler President Assisi has been heavily criticized by U.S. and European nations for perpetrating violence against innocent protesters exercising political speech. However, the United States continues to work with Assisi. As during the reign of Mubarak, the United States sends Egypt roughly $3 billion in foreign aid each year. Over 2,000 people have died in the conflict in Egypt. On Tuesday, Hawaiian voters decided to ban the growing of genetically modified crops. The new measure creates a temporary moratorium on GM crops until further health and environmental studies are completed. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. 
Support also comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries. Homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 6th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. On Wednesday, President Barack Obama said he would work with Congress on new war powers to fight Islamic State militants and express cautious optimism about whether the international face-off over Iran's nuclear program will be resolved. Two issues that could prove harder for the White House to maneuver with Republicans in charge on Capitol Hill. The Associated Press reports that Obama spoke at a news conference the day after his party was thrashed by Republicans in elections, leaving the Republicans soon to be in charge of both the House and the Senate. Obama's decision will test the ability of the divided Congress to agree on a war strategy for Iraq and Syria. A St. Louis circuit judge has ruled Missouri's ban on same-sex marriages as unconstitutional. Judge Rex Burleson called the freedom to marry a fundamental right deeply rooted in the history of the United States. The news comes a day after a federal judge ruled a similar ban in Kansas was in violation of the Constitution. On Monday, a district judge threw out an alleged 1993 confession from Daniel Villegas, the Texas man who spent 19 years behind bars for a murder he did not commit. The district judge stated that the confession could not be used as evidence in an upcoming retrial because it was coerced by police. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 6, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. This is the Fact Zone. I'm Brooke Alvarez. Our top story tonight, Congress has passed a bill naming incomprehensible shouting the official language of the United States. I'm sick and tired of listening to people who say that Americans should not know what they know, and that's not what it is, what the policy is. The red-blooded American is what we have in this day and age. Under the new law, public school classes will only be taught in incomprehensible shouting, and government agencies will no longer offer translators to non-shouting speakers. In addition, a new test will be added to the naturalization process, whereby potential immigrants must prove they have a working knowledge of incomprehensible shouting before they're granted citizenship. The movement started in 2008 with a grassroots organization called Americans for Doing It Right Because We Got It Now Because Who Else Right? Come on! This is the Onion News Network, a tomahawk of honesty in the skull of lies. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about anything. Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The overarching topic for the show tonight has been a question, Mark, that uh, you have asked about. And, and anybody can answer from the Republican or Democratic Party. The question is, can you identify a losing issue within the party's current platform? And, your party, whatever that yeah, might be. Take an objective view, if you can of that platform and find one issue that's just not a winner. This is something that's driving people away from the party. This is upsetting people. It's going to maybe drive the party into the ground over uh, over time. Mark, you've identified a couple so far, but did you have another one that you wanted to, to throw out? Yeah. We've had. Uh, I just want to say real quick that I, I came to this question when I accidentally sort of sat, well, got sat next to a uh, senior Democratic staffer who one day after losing big to the Republicans said to me with all seriousness on his face, like this, this guy did not appear to be lying at all um, that he had no fear of the Republicans, that the Democrats have the issues and they have the demographics that the Republicans over time are going to lose. Yeah. There might be some losses in the near future, but over time, um, you know, the Republicans are 
it's it's the Republicans' uh, you know, race to lose. Well, so obviously, if he didn't think they were going to win in the future, he wouldn't be spending his time with the party, right? No, I don't know if that that's necessarily true. I mean, listen, well, maybe maybe you're maybe you're right, maybe you're not. I don't know. This guy seemed to be driven by issues, not by parties. Well, anyway, the uh, the question has yet to be answered by a Republican uh, who could identify one of the problem planks in the the platform. What should be changed? What is a loser issue? And by the way, Democrats are free to call in and identify losing issues uh, on their platform as well. That hasn't happened so, yet either. I've got uh, six. I've written down six losing issues for Republicans All right, here. Let's recap: um, abortion. Yeah. Anti-amnesty. I think that uh, people being able to cross borders, imaginary lines, um, you know, for me personally, I don't think there should be checks and balances on people coming to this country. That's my personal issue. However, Democrats certainly aren't. uh, They're winning based on the fact that Republicans want to have no amnesty. And the reason they want to have no amnesty, if you talk to them, is but they'll vote Democrat when they get here. Now that's a <laughs> stupid position because you should be you should be pandering to everybody. Um, you should be trying to lure in new demographic groups. Because here's some news for you, folks. It's been several years since the majority of babies who were born were white, and if the Republican Party doesn't want to be the party of white guys, then it needs to expand its horizons somehow. Now, you don't have to like what I have to say. You just have to realize it's based in fact. All right. I want to hear the other ones, but I don't want a, a lengthy expl- okay, explanation. Okay. Gay marriage, marijuana, prostitution, and gambling. Ooh, prostitution. That'd be a good one. Uh, let's continue here with your calls because plenty of Republicans like prostitutes. They just won't admit it. Uh, let's go to Mike listening in North Carolina. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Mike. Hey, thanks for taking the call. Go ahead, sir. Uh, First of all, I want to say that that your Democratic friend that you met on the train, he's not right about the Democrats having the issues. What they have has been successful in framing the issues. Uh, Their position on immigration is contrary to their position on the economy. They want to raise minimum wage through an artificial law passed by government instead of letting market forces raise the wages of our people. And that's through supply and demand. The 10 to 20 million illegal immigrants living and working in our economy are creating a false supply of workers if there was a tightening of the borders and stricter enforcement of our immigration laws there would allow wages to increase because there wouldn't be as many people to hire and companies who are businesses would pay more for quality employees at the rate today we have five percent plus unemployment plus however many illegal immigrants may be in the country i've heard anywhere from 12 to 30 million tossed around as numbers but even on the low end, 10 million workers who aren't even subject to the current minimum wage laws allow businesses okay. to operate on a lower pay rate. I got where you're coming from, Mike. Listen, yeah, the, 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 yeah, this is yeah, important. I, I got right. where you're coming from. I think it's um, this is important. So you're a pretty smart guy. The fact that you said supply and demand, is he still there? He's there. Okay. Um, yes, I'm here. The fact that you said supply and demand and the way you frame this, I really get that you're on the smarter end of the scale. But what you got to consider, not necessarily IQ, but when it comes to sort of understanding social issues, that the person who has, let's call that uh, voter uh, IQ, so VIQ, right? So a voter IQ, for every person that's at 100 and the hundreds average, once you realize how dumb the average person is, you realize that half of the people below that are dumb, to, uh, you know, dumber than that. The, all those people have votes. And you're, t- you're explaining this from a very intelligent standpoint. Most voters are not doing that. They're voting however they're voting based on what mommy and daddy said was the right way to vote or based on which party is going to give them what they want or which party is going to hate on who they want to hate on. Which is where I'm talking about the Democrats, or excuse me, the Republicans, one of their failures is not necessarily a platform point. It's in their ability to, to framework the conversation. It ain't going to get better. In a way that people can understand. Well, people can understand supply and demand. They understand that if there's a lot of something, it'll be cheaper. And if there's not a lot of something, it could be more valuable. Well, you, just before you go on, I mean, you did mention something in your first statement about supply. Did you say it was false supply, the people that were here as, as well, immigrants? Well, it's a supply that's greater than the actual number, and this goes not just well, for greater than the what? Citizens, greater, the legal, what, greater than the, legal, the what? The number of legal immigrants and American citizens who are here that are looking for work that are competing against those who are here illegally. But that wait, why shouldn't – okay, but, but wait, wait a minute. Taking away this whole illegal, legal thing and just looking at the idea of supply and demand, supplying workers in this particular case – 
uh, why shouldn't people be able to fill their jobs that they have that they need to hire people from from wherever people around the world from wherever they want to without having to ask well, government because, bureaucrats because, permission? Because, well, we are a government and we are a country that is a country is defined by its borders. But sir, that doesn't has, answer my has, question. And, that doesn't answer my question. I ask you why – if you Republicans support freedom of uh, association and freedom of business and economic freedom, which I thought Republicans supported economic freedom, what I hear you saying is that screw your economic freedom. We think protectionism is more important. We're going to shut down the borders, and you have to beg permission to, to hire somebody. Well, no, contrary, contrary to that, we – first of all, we allow and have about one million legal immigrants come every year into our country. On top of that issue, over seven. 700,000 work visas to other foreign people to come to our country and work. There is no What your bureaucrats right, do doesn't impress right. me. You're making excuses for telling me how I can run my business. Who do you think you are? Oh, no, first of all, you have a lot of rules and regulations on how you can run your business. So you, you support that then? You support anyway having you So as a sure. Republican, as a are you a small job. government guy? Oh, listen, first of all, we only have two parties, the party of big government and the party of bigger government. The Republicans are a party of big government. The Democrats are a party of even bigger government. The big problem— So you're is okay with re- with regulations. You're okay with, with rules there and should be some. jumping through. There's, there's, there's regulations right. As long as you get to write them, as long as you are in no, charge. I don't want right? to write them. The, the safety of our people, our health, mm-hmm. these things that the government should have— You trust have the government for that. Role. You trust? Would you say you trust well, the government? To keep oh, you safe? Absolutely not. The government is 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 ripe with corruption. Well, wait, there were you just saying something the about the safety of the people? The I mean, how would why would you trust somebody well, with your safety if you don't trust them? Well, somebody has to be in charge, and that is our elected officials mm. and the people. Just like why can't you be in charge? Blowing up in cars and killing people. Why, why can't you be in charge, government. Mike? Why can't you be in charge of your own life? I have a business to be in. Char- I am in charge of my life. Okay, but why do you want to be in charge of my life and my business? I don't. I yeah, you do. You just told me I can't hire somebody from around the world unless they jump through some bureaucratic hoops. That doesn't sound like freedom to me. Thanks for the call. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Go what ahead. Mike was right about, and this is important to point out, is he was comparing and contrasting the Democrats' position on a minimum wage with the Democrats' position on amnesty. He believes that if you, in, and he's right, when you increase the supply of labor, you're necessarily going to drive down the price of uh, personnel costs. Great. He's Lower right. the price of the products. Indeed. But he's making the point that Democrats both want to raise the cost mm-hmm. of uh, employing somebody and increase immigration. That is a problem, and it yeah. is going to co- be catastrophic for the economy. Yeah, sure. He's right about that. So I understand where you're coming from. Mike is uh, you know, protectionist, but the vast majority of people are protectionists when it comes to labor. Mm. So we have a very they marginal— They like cheap products, but they don't like competition. For we, their own jobs. Well, I, you know, I don't even care about competition for the jobs. The fact is, is that if you if you think that this country is worth living in, then why shouldn't somebody else come here and be able to make a better life for themselves? As long as they're not sucking off of uh, government welfare, I don't believe in that stuff. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. We'll get you on the air with your thoughts on whatever's on your mind here on this live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. More coming up. Hi, everyone. I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn, and you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, Look for the green box at your favorite store. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. 
Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today is October 29th, 2014. Gold opened at 1223.40. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1268.34, 634.17 for a half ounce, or 317.09 for a quarter ounce. That's 1268.34, 634.17, and 317.09. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase, and there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On July 17, 1980, Ronald Reagan accepted the nomination for president at the Republican National Convention in Detroit and delivered a speech in which he boldly promised that during his presidency, someone would body slam Andre the Giant. While admitting that the road would be long and hard and that it might take as long as seven years and two WrestleManias to get there, the former California governor vowed that under his administration, somebody, perhaps Ricky the Dragon Steamboat or a hulked up Hulk Hogan would grab hold of the 500 pound behemoth and send his massive body smashing to the mat. The Republican nominee also went on to promise that by the end of his first term, Joni would marry Chachi, hair metal would achieve mainstream airplay and Shelley Long would successfully make the leap from television to film. This is the Onion News Network. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. You can join us online. Drop by freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features there. Our toll-free number tonight brought to you by ProXPN. It is a global virtual private network. They encrypt your online data. That means your internet service provider, once you start using ProXPN, your ISP will not know what you're doing online. Right now, they probably know all the websites you visited and the search terms you're entering, and they may be keeping those logs on you for up to five years in some cases. You want to put a stop to that? Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. You can get started there. It's totally free to get started. And when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account at ProXPN, you'll get unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can access. You can privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites. And you can get it all for about five bucks a month with our discount code FTL50. FTL standing for Free Talk Live and 50 standing for 50% off of the price of their annual account. Now, when you use that code, FTL50, you get that savings for the lifetime of your account. And you can save even more if you use code FTLBTC and pay with Bitcoin for the annual account. You'll get 62% off in that case. So go and get started right now at proxpn.com slash FTL. Doesn't matter if you've got Windows, Macintosh, iOS, Android, 
Uh, all of those operating systems work. In fact, Linux, you can even get to work with ProXPN. It's just a bit of a different setup process. So go and get started at ProXPN.com slash FTL. And don't forget promo code FTL50 or FTLBTC. And get a great discount on privacy that is priceless. Plus, you get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. ProXPN.com slash FTL. We go right back into your calls and thoughts here. People have been sharing with us what they think the weakness is. What is a, a, a poor issue, a losing issue, that the uh, p- political party, of which you may or may not be a member, the Republicans or Democrats, for instance, what's a losing issue that these guys currently have in their platform? That was the, the main question that you'd asked, Mark, earlier tonight that's led into a larger conversation as well, uh, just kind of about uh, you know the, the fact that people within these political parties cannot see, as we've determined so far tonight, they really can't see the loser issues. They well, don't. nobody's given me an issue that they consider to be a loser for either party that um, that's in the party. That, that person is in the party. Yeah. Well, that I have not already identified for the Republican Party. Well, so far, none of the Republican callers uh, have identified a losing issue within their political party. There are Republicans that have co- identified losing issues for Democrats, and they all have to yeah. do with sort of finan- f- fiscal conservatism. So let's go to your calls and thoughts. We go first to Dan in Wisconsin, listening in the Madison area to the Mike 92.1 WXXM. Hey, Dan. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I consider myself a uh, r- super conservative uh, Christian. Uh, listening to the last four or five callers and stuff, the first thing that came to my mind was Shirley Temple, because it's, it's almost like they're living in a Shirley Temple world, and their and their and their co- their comments are just basically around second grade level. And I'm not being derogatory, and I'm not, I don't want to belittle them, but this is what happens when you listen to mainstream media from the time you're young. You're at about a second grade level, Shirley Temple view of the world. Well, uh, can you, you, know, can you narrow that down for me? What what specifically have you well, heard over the last well, half hour that was was the Shirley Temple view of the world? Well, 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 well first of all, the Christian guy he would take about two minutes to talk to it. The stuff that he talks about just it's just it's goofy talk. First of all, I, I'm a Christian, but most of the churches you go to, they teach at a second grade level. They admit to me. I says I like your church, but it, to me it's sort of like a second grade level. That's we drug to and they go, yes, but uh, that's the way they have to, you know. Just I know what you're saying, but for people to understand it, that's how they have to talk, you know, to get to get the, the, the enough people in the church and stuff. This isn't one church. This is multiple churches and stuff. And then you got who's the guy, Ralph Reed or whatever, the guy focused to the family. He bought into the government. You know, you see all these Christians hanging around with these devils from Washington, and they're thinking. Yeah, I'm con- I'm connected to the power structure and stuff. Stuff. If you're connected to them people in Washington, you're in bed with the devil now. That's just the Christian mm-hmm. part of it. The guy that was it's talking about that. the um, yeah, there was a guy that was talking about the government. There's bigger government. The, uh, the Republicans are, are big, and the and the and the, uh, uh, the Democrats, Democrats are, are bigger. A uh, uh, fantasy, absolute fantasy. These people have bosses that tell them what to do. They give them money and they say. The, the, the Democrats don't have good issues. They're not allowed to talk about certain issues. They would never even get dime one from these super powerful people that are running welfare schemes on, on the uh, public, like Monsanto, GM, all these people that get all this m- million, hundreds of millions of dollars from the government of your money and stuff. And he thinks that these, the, that these so-called leaders are you know, bringing up issues. Their issues are only what the issues are of the people that are running Washington. And as far as him voting between the two parties, all you, you're not voting for them. All you're doing, you're rubber, rubber stamping who's picked. That's why I mean, the election starts. They go, this is the front runner. Right? I mean, even right now, they're saying Hillary's going to be the front runner. Hillary has the money. You, that means she's been picked. They're telling you, this is your choice and stuff. Then they go, uh, Mitt Romney, he's a front runner, this and that. So the people think they have a choice. That's why I said Shirley Temple. They're at a second grade level. Dan, a second you know grade what? Level I, I, I cannot. It, sorry. What I was going to say is I really appreciate your passion, and thanks for calling tonight. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And I do agree with his statement that you know there, there is no choice here. I mean, between the Republicans and the Democrats, you do have people who ultimately want to choose uh, their corporate buddies, their masters, whoever those people might be. Uh, they certainly aren't interested in you and your yeah. freedom. 
I, I'm, I wasn't asking questions for the uh, the politicians. As far as I'm concerned, the politicians are bought and paid for. Washington D.C. is is half of uh, halfway. It's just a structure to maintain power mm-hmm. over you. The other half is a dog and pony show to get you involved. Let's talk to Joseph. He is in Iowa. You're on Free Talk Live, Joseph. Hello. Hey, you're on the air on Free Talk Live. Go ahead. All right. Um, I called in to talk about a movie named Back to the Future, specifically Excellent. the second one. All right. I know I saw the first one, maybe not the second one. I love this. Uh, these movies. They're great, great films. So go ahead. Okay. You know how they had flying cars, hoverboards, and self-driving clothes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we actually have all three of those now. Yeah. Flying cars, we, hoverboards, and self, self, what was it, clothes? Drying. Well, I, I can one up the drying. They self clean. Yeah, I've heard about this, like certain thread technology or whatever somehow repels dirt. Is that what you're getting at? Um, that, and if it's exposed to ultraviolet light, it actually will obliterate dirt as well. Wow. What is that called? I mean, what is the tech called? Do you know? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I wonder why these things aren't widely. I mean, you know, I know why the flying cars aren't because the FAA, you know, whatever, just just isn't yeah, going to let flying like cars happen. And I suppose hoverboards might be something similar. But at this point, hoverboards. No, are the still, FAA is not involved in hoverboards. It Those, depends on how high you get. Um, okay, fair it, enough. Uh, uh, They're but, not getting very high these days. Let me tell you. No, but I mean, you're you're still talking about technology that's in its uh, infancy. It, people aren't using it to travel back and forth from home to the grocery store or anything like that. True. True. They're proof of concept, at least as far as the hoverboard yeah. is concerned. There was a recent news article about that coming out. Joseph, thanks for sharing that. Uh, anything else you want to throw out there? Uh, yeah. Uh, definite losing point is probably gun rights. Uh, for which party? I'd say for both, actually. <laughs> All right, Joseph, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate it. Toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control of the airwaves. And this is Free Talk Live. We love that you're passionate about GCN. And whether you're a listener, a business owner, or a radio industry professional, we've redesigned the new GCN newsletter to keep you in the know. Get updates on your favorite GCN shows and hosts. Go to GCNlive.com and click on the banner in the upper left corner. Just for signing up, you're automatically entered for monthly giveaways. Start receiving your newsletter today. The future of talk radio. GCN. How many good people procrastinate? When was the last time you updated your last will and testament, your living will, and your health care power of attorney? If you could get these documents included with your Legal Shield membership for no additional charge, wouldn't it just make sense to have the peace of mind of owning a Legal Shield membership? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855 855- 340 save. That's 855 340 7283. Results will vary from case to case. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. 
Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't Tread on Meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't Tread on Meme, M E M E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value. And they look neat, too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy-to-use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme, your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free here and bring up anything you want at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You may join us online as well at freetalklive.com. Do get interactive with the various features you'll find on the website. And if you like Free Talk Live and you want to support the show, one of the ways to do that is to become an amplifier. Please do over at amp.freetalklive.com. It's a great way to get behind Free Talk Live because you're 5 bucks a month goes right into the show. It, uh, it is, you know, after the credit card company takes their cut, uh, the remainder of that $5 a month is uh, sent to us, and we can invest that in Free Talk Live. We can get on new radio stations by reaching out to them with advertising and, uh, and you know, campaign of uh, affili affiliate relations, as they call it in the business, essentially calling on stations and inviting them to pick up the show. We can also bring new listeners online. Uh, through online advertising like with Google AdWords, and uh, we can increase our satellite footprint around the globe. There's a lot we can do with just five bucks a month from you, and you get perks like access to the Amp Only call in lines, the Amp Only podcast, and the Amp Only Facebook group, and more. Go get the details. You can get signed up with any major credit card through PayPal or use Visa or MasterCard right on our website at AMP. That's A-M-P, like advertise, market, and promote. AMP.freetalklive.com. We go back to your calls and thoughts. There are a lot of people who want to get on on this topic of, you know, what is uh, you know, an example of an issue that one of the political parties has, doesn't matter which one, Republicans or Democrats, preferably you should be a member of the party that you can identify this issue, but can you identify an issue within a political party that is a loser, it's a loser of an issue. This is driving people away from this particular political party. Mark, uh, go through real quick your your list of, uh, what was it, five or six that you came up with? Yeah, this is just for the Republicans, and that's because I am one. Abortion, this anti-amnesty attitude that's going on out there, gay marriage, marijuana legalization. Many times the Republicans are standing against that. And a tossed in prostitution and gambling. Republicans seem to be the more socially conservative, so they're the ones more likely to stand against those things, too. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. Dana is in Grand Rapids listening to WD, uh, TKG. Hey, Dana. Hi. You can call me Dana, or you may refer to me as Shirley Temple. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about the issue thing, but I have to comment about that Dan from Wisconsin. Why is it that people who call in talk shows, when they proceed their statement with, I am a Christian, right away, I know to put my guard up. If that man were a Christian, he wouldn't refer to the gentleman who came to Christ from atheism as, you know, uh, second grade mentality, because it says in the Bible, the only way to heaven I mean, one of the ways besides love one another and but love God first with all of your being. I like those verses. You must, thank you. And another thing is you must become childlike. 
and that means children, the way you treat each other, the way you think, it must be so simplistic, and everything is just for God. So for him to say he's a Christian and not another Christian because he's a second-grade level mentality, Dan isn't a Christian. He doesn't know the basic tenets of Christianity. And I want to say one other thing about the gentleman from L.A., I said this to you, and I'll get to the Republican thing that nobody's brought up, not even Mark, Um, but I want to say something, and I've said this to you guys before. You hear yourself through headsets when you're responding to callers, but when we're out here listening to you, it's more intense. I I don't know which other way to, to explain it, and you guys, libertarians, the idea of libertarianism and Specifically, you two, and what you started there is a great thing. But when someone doesn't agree with you or you don't agree with someone, you come across as really condescending. For a Christian to search to see if God is is the right religion, you know, Christianity is the right faith, or if Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit are the right people to believe in, is an easier search than when you believe There is nothing. And so for that man to go on contrary... Well, I'm pretty so sure Mark actually gave him credit. Right, for I, I gave him for credit for that. For Maybe his you search. missed that. But part. real quick, just just lay it on yes, us, Dana. Yes, you did. What's the you issue? Did. Because we have a lot of callers. So what's the issue that you okay, think? Okay, I know loser? you do. Okay, um, uh, let me give you some things. Um, I think Mark that those issues that you mentioned are coming from the left to convince Americans, just another propaganda ploy, to convince Americans this is why the Republicans, and I'm not a diehard Republican, I'm more conservative or libertarian, um, that uh, convince that you're a loser if you vote for these losers, because here are the facts. Oregon, very liberal state, just like Washington. Yeah, we don't want to get into all the details here, Dana. You You can name your issue or not. They just they just voted down driver's license for illegal aliens. They the also voted up marijuana. On gay marriage, on gay marriage, um, on gay marriage, uh, it went from 53 to 48, 49 percent that were pro-gay marriage. So they're losing, and I don't think the cake thing and the uh, Dana. Farm, I'm going to give you one you know, more that, chance. You can give us the issue that you believe is a losing issue for the Republicans. Please do it now. Oh, they need to stop. Spending. Why do you think that when Obama was okay. elected? Good enough. Thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate it. We don't have time for the uh, the I editorial agree. comments. Uh, we got to continue here. Want to get as many folks on as possible. Bregan, you're on Free Talk Live in Wisconsin. Go ahead, Bregan. Hey guys, um, I am listening to you on ninety two point one. Also in uh, Madison, Great. Uh, like the other caller, yes. and I appreciate the fact that they actually carry this as kind of surprising because you guys be having a slightly libertarian slant slightly is kind of is, is very refreshing <laughs> thanks very man. refreshing i would say we're Wisconsin. very libertarian yeah, on we this take show. Liber- we take libertarianism and kick it through the goalposts yeah go ahead with your thoughts <laughs> well well you know i was brought up uh, a liberal democrat in a very conservative county north of milwaukee and uh after owning my own business with 50 employees um I have had a change of heart, and, uh, and, and, and I appreciate the fact that, that Ted Anderson and GCN kind of plow through, and I'd like to see you guys on more different, uh, on different stations. We're on 166 avenues. of them. What's that losing issue? Um, well, flag burning. Well, let's go back to On flag which burning. side, the Republicans? Yeah, I think go- Republicans. Yeah, or you, or you could go back to uh, Prohibition, you know? I mean, so everyone's going to have a, a, a losing issue, a losing side. So my, my brother is listening right now, and maybe my dad, uh, if he can pull in that station. Uh, uh, we, we have an aunt who's been out of the closet since the 50s, and she was one of the, the major plaintiffs in the suit in Indiana who sued the state of Indiana for the right for gay marriage. And I have no problem with that whatsoever. I think it is a losing issue. But I, but I want to go further than that and say that there are plenty of 
issues, Republican or Democrat. I'm not. I'm neither one. I, I, I'd love to see a, a Russ Feingold and a, a Ron Paul ticket. Hmm. So yet someday. again, Mark, another person who's not a Republican who is able to identify a losing issue within the Republican Party. Thus far, every Republican who's called well, well, has been pretty bad at identifying uh, their yeah, own losing yes, issues. Yes, but 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 I am but I am I am very libertarian now. Good deal. You know what you should check out is uh, the Free State Project. Anybody who describes themselves as very libertarian really owes it to themselves to go to freestateproject.org. And I thank you, Bregan, for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Uh, Let's continue here. We've got Brad somewhere in Wisconsin. You're on Free Talk Live, Brad. How you doing? Welcome. You're on the air. Well, I think uh, racism is a losing issue in both parties. They'll never get rid of the racism. Meaning that, that inside the party there's racism? I'm not sure what you're saying. Well, racism in general, in, in the civilian community. I mean, look at Obama. He's half white, he's half black, but he identifies himself as uh, African American. You know, so that's, you know, you're losing the racism. You know, There's a lot of historical issues. precedent for that. And what is that? Well, the, the sort of one drop uh, rules that, uh, one drop of blood rules that existed in the past. Brad, thanks for your call, man. I appreciate hearing from you. we got to continue here. 855-453. If you're on the line, we're going to do our best to get you in next. It's Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Chuck Woolery here. You know, I've talked before about Australian Dream, the effective arthritis pain relief cream that doesn't burn, isn't greasy, and has no odor. Now there's new Australian Dream back pain cream with all those great benefits. But this penetrating formula can help relieve your simple back pain. And it's backed by an empty jar guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can send back the empty jar for a full refund. But I don't think you will, because Australian Dream really works. Don't let back pain ruin your day. Get Australian Dream Back Pain Cream at Walgreens. Hi, this is Laura Garris of Lady Talk Live. With the current threat of epidemics and pandemics threatening us and medical resources dwindling, it's time we protect ourselves. That's why I use Longevity's Immune Booster Beta 500. Beta 500 is the most powerful immune system booster you can buy. This proprietary blend provides the most studied and proven immune system booster available. Order now. Call 855-333-5239. That's 855-333-5239. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial toll free. Actually, don't. <laughs> at this point, don't. Because our phones are loaded. You're not going to get through anyway. If you're on the line right now, we will do our best to get you in here. But don't worry if we can't get to you tonight. And it's frequently the case that we can't get to everybody. If we can't get to you tonight, we've got a show tomorrow night. Mark, you'll be here for the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live tomorrow night. We are on, even if we're not on your local radio station at that time, uh, we're on here on the internets at freetalklive.com. You can get us 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time, seven days a week, always live for you to bring up anything that you would like. We've been talking uh, quite a bit about the losing issues. What are the losing issues on either side, the Democrats, the Republicans? What are the issues? And, and preferably, you should answer the question from within one party. So, like, if you're a Republican, can you tell us what the losing issues are for the Republicans? Yeah, if it's, you easy, are, it's easy just to lambast the other party. Right. If you're a Democrat, can can you tell us what the losing, be honest, what's a losing issue that the, the party has? Uh, Toll-free number again is 855-450-FREE. Again, not that you can call it now. So let's go to Richie in Pittsburgh. You're on Free Talk Live. Richie. Uh, yeah. Yes, um, I would just like to answer the question that people go at length trying to answer and just say that immigration is definitely, you know, what I envision in the future is definitely going to be there. It has to be free for uh, civilization to continue to thrive. So mm. I think that's one that, so true. Openborders.org. Openborders.org uh, suggests that there will be an immediate, well, there would be a doubling in world GDP if every nation just opened up their borders. Obviously, this isn't going to happen. Mm. But there's a benefit to nations in the form of, you know, cheap labor if they allow people to move there and build a better life for themselves. Immigrants have built this country time and again, generation again and again, and now we've constructed a whole bunch of rules that prevent people from coming here, unlike there were in the past. There were certainly some rules, but they didn't start until 1880. And now we just say, well, yeah, you don't follow the law, then you're bad. Thanks, Richie. Can I ask you a question, Ian? Go ahead, quick. Um. Actually, I've been doing uh, some direct action this weekend. It's the first time I've ever done it. And I have I've kind of put together a video, a three-in-one cop walking video that I did on the south side uh, last night. It's extre you know, extremely busy. Uh, I probably interacted with a, over a dozen uniformed, unmarked uh, police as well within like a 20-minute period. And I'm not sure how I really want to publish it and go about moving about in the future because this is definitely like an urban – they're not used to being filmed, so I was just kind of wondering your advice on somebody who's kind of by themselves uh, thinking about using this sort of form of direct action. So the question is, you're out cop blocking in a major city alone. Your question is, what should you do? I'm not really clear on what you're asking me. Um, as far as publishing, um, but like, should I self-publish, or would it? Would you recommend going through cop block if I if I feel like I want to continue this as a Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so like copblock.org is a decentralized website, uh, an activist group that has you know people all over the globe who are, are help, helping hold police accountable through the use of video cameras. I don't know if Cop Block is just going to let anybody upload to their official YouTube channel. I don't know what the you know the the parameters are on who gets in and who doesn't on that. So I would recommend having your own channel, uh, building you know there may already be a Pittsburgh Cop Block. If not, you could start that. 
and upload your videos there. And then what you can do is you go to copblock.org and you can submit your content that you've already created to their site and they'll put it up. So that's the way I would go about it. Build your own brand there or better yet, get out of uh, Pittsburgh and move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. Yeah. <laughs> but Richie, thanks for the call tonight. Yep, yep. we got to go on here and get uh, David in Lynchburg uh, listening to WLNI. David, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, hey guys, how you doing tonight? Hey, you're on the air. Um, I've been I've been listening and I've got I'm gonna get right to the the loser issues. Um, as a Republican, and I've got some for the Democrat if you have time for me. Um, I think the big loser is abortion, mm. and the reason I say that is there's seldom an issue. Well, now there's often an issue, and I think this is the reason I've honed in on that. That goes against the underlying philosophy that we're sold. Um. It, to become members of the party or, you know, the overall ideology. In my mind, I am definitely personally pro-life, but I do not want the government having a say. Um, that, to me, is would be like the most liberal position you could take. I was going to say, that's a very libertarian uh, position. There are a lot of libertarians who feel strongly pro-life, but they know that getting in the government involved in these decisions is the worst possible solution. And that's I thank you I for the call, David. I wish we had time for more, but yeah. we don't uh, tonight, because I want to get Jason on the line here in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, Jason, you're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead. Yeah, I was just calling to um, talk about what the losing issues are. And um, I think that, uh, honestly, there's, uh, let's be real, we live in a time now where there are so many people in America who are so uninformed about the issues that are going on in um, politics uh, that the people who are informed are vastly, vastly, vastly outnumbered by the people who aren't. I mean, let's be real, Obama, mm -hmm. the first time he got elected was um, you ask, you know, the vast majority of people who voted for him probably didn't know three things he stood for. You know, the word on the street was he's awesome, you know, go vote for him, you know. And the only reason that Republicans won the House this last time around was because, you know, almost everybody didn't even know it was Election Day until it was already over, you know. Like, we're just like, the issues aren't ever going to weigh out how cool someone is these days or how popular they are. That's just the world we live in. There's too many people in America, too many people who don't care anymore about the issues. They just want who It's they true. Want. Some That's people will it. vote for a presidential candidate based on how they look. I mean, that much yeah. is true. The same staffer that I was talking to on the train, though, the start of the whole story, he got he almost went out of his gourd when I said that some people aren't qualified to vote. And, I mean, it just it made him crazy when I said it. But the fact is that when you're talking about any area of intelligence, and I'm not saying this is just, you know, how smart you are, but, you know, information in area, any area, you're going to have people people above and below the mean. And as far as I'm concerned, people below the mean have no business making decisions in this area for the rest of us. Jason. No, no. And that's, that's the world we live in, you know, and it's going to be like that for now on. There's so many people in America. Our culture is getting more farther away from politics and caring about details. We're, we, we're getting, we're, we're like, people growing up in um, schools these days are more accepting of everyone. They don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. They, you know, so they just... Well, I don't think there's anything about, wrong you know, unite and I don't think there's United anything wrong with being accepting towards uh, towards people, but at the same time, I certainly don't value politics either. I mean, I get where you're coming from, that you wish more people would pay attention, and I, but at the same time, I can't blame them for not wanting to. I mean, if you pay attention to politics, it becomes a very, very disappointing thing. Uh, you know, these, these politicians are just constantly trying to come up with new ways to control people, and, and anybody that really know, that pays attention knows there isn't a dime's worth of difference between the Republicans and Democrats, so no, who, can, who can blame anybody? And thanks, Jason, for your call. Who can blame anybody? anybody for throwing up their hands in frustration saying to hell with this i'm just going to play a video game or watch some television or you know do something else read a book do something else and entertain myself and not be so frustrated by the difficulties right. of the system i don't blame anybody for wanting to tune that stuff out now, of course, if you aren't tuning the, the stuff out and you're really frustrated by these things and you love liberty, then you really should join the Free State Project and go to freestateproject.org if you you know understand that freedom means you should be free to live your life how you want so long as you don't harm anyone else. The idea behind the Free State Project is let's get people together who care about liberty. That way we can raise the sort of collective intel intelligence in a given area. We can communicate these ideas uh, more effectively to our neighbors and hopefully get them to care. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. We've got uh, Diego in Delaware. You're on Free Talk Live, Diego. Hey, yes. Um, it's actually Diogo, but that's all right. I'm sorry about um, that. Go ahead, Diogo. Yeah, no, that's all right. Which right. I'm an immigrant, by the way. I don't think it matters. But I, I mostly identify as Republican. I agree uh, mostly with the libertarian issues, um, which 
a lot of them run as Republicans. Uh, and actually, I think the main issue, which goes along with the communication issue that Republicans claim to have, is that they base a lot of um, what they, they base their arguments on this theological, religious view of mm. theirs, and that's that's how they use uh, that's what they use to argue their point, which allows the Democrats to simply say, "See, this is simply an appeal to religion," which we all know is a logical fallacy, and you know it labels all Republicans as unscientific. You know, and the American people, even if they identify, quote unquote, as Judeo-Christian, which most of them, you know, don't even know what that religion means, um, all, practically all, still would reject a theocracy. And that's what people fail to understand is that appealing to religion on why we should pass certain laws is just a flawed way to present your argument. There's plenty of reasonable, scientific, you know, numerical ways to argue the point, and yet they keep going to, oh, Jesus this, Jesus that, you know, mm. and I understand everyone has their religious views, but, you know, come on, let's, let's, let's make a good argument here. You know, we have a lot of truth on our side. We don't need to argue religion. There's, there's just no need. I like where you're coming from on that one, uh, Diogo, and thank you for the call tonight. appreciate hearing from you. Let's bring Ralph on. Ralph, you got about the last uh, 15 seconds. Go quick. Hey, New Hampshire. Good evening to you. This is Ralph calling you from New Jersey. Hello. Uh, the one, the, you know, I like your, the format of your show. Okay, we uh, read you, uh, we read you live, and you are well. Look at the the state motto of uh, New Hampshire: "Live and die free." So that Ralph, I don't know what you're talking about, but <laughs> if we have more time for you, I would love to keep you on. We don't have time, unfortunately. We'll see you tomorrow night. FreeTalkLive.com. Have you, why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks.